scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Great is my God. He is greatly to be praised. You are greatly to be praised. My Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord, ready to be praised. I live to praise your name, and I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Are you ready to prophesy? Sing, I live, yeah. Come on, turn to your neighbor and prophesy. Hey, I live to praise your name. And I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Sing, I live. I live to praise your name. And I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Just the voice Sing, I live to praise your name. Let the devil hear you prophesy. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. I live, I live, I live, say. I live to praise your name. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. One more time, just the voices. I live, I live, I live to praise your name. Papa Tabala Rabaka Prata Rabala Rabaka. It's giving us a reason to rejoice. Yeah, I live, I live, I live, say. I live to praise your name. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. One more time. I live. Praise your name. To praise your name. I need to praise your name. You're prophesying that this is why you leave. I leave, say. I need to praise your name. I need to praise your name. 
my spirit is fired up this night hallelujah we are going to make some dangerous confessions this night that will, rem it will remind the devil that God and us are still in charge hallelujah while I came up that was the song that was in my spirit my, I tell you my spirit is fired this night ah I live to praise that name and I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. are you tired of prophesying I live yeah. I live For the last time I live I live I live say begin to prophesy he has made me the head I remain the head forever I'm the redeemed of the Lord he has called me blessed I remain blessed forever go ahead and prophesy my path is as a shining light it shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day the hand of the Lord is upon me his favor encompasses me as a shield. A thousand falls by my side and ten thousand by my right side. None shall harm me with my eyes. Will I watch and see the reward of the wicked? Go ahead and prophesy. My path is as a shining light. Shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. But I know whom I have believed and I'm persuaded that he's able to keep that against that day prophesy I'm the head I'm blessed I'm lifted the anointing is upon me in the name of Jesus my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil Gentiles come to my light kings to the brightness of my rising he's exalted me above thrones above dominions above principalities and every name that is named both in this age and in the world to come I refuse sickness I cannot be sick I refuse poverty it is far from me God has not given me the spirit of fear but the spirit of love of power and of a sound mind he has given me the tongue of the learned that I will know how to speak a word in due season my words are seasoned with song to minister grace to the hearers come on prophesy through wisdom my life is built by understanding it is established true knowledge is filled with every blessing i'm above satan i'm above the powers of darkness he has lifted me he has given me a name that is above every other name he calls me great he calls me blessed he calls me anointed. My gates are continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. My way pleases the Lord and he makes even my enemies to be at peace with me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, prophesy koinonia. The Bible says, hold fast your profession of faith let the redeemed of the lord say so let the healed of the lord say so let the blessed of the lord say so let the anointed of the lord say so go ahead and prophesy it doesn't matter what is happening in your family god is faithful god is faithful i shall not die i have no covenant with death i choose life I choose life. I do not live by the sword. So I cannot die by the sword. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I run into it and I am saved. Go ahead and prophesy. 
wealth and riches are in my house the wisdom of God is at work in me the works of my hands are blessed I move from glory to glory to glory to glory the hand of God is upon me the favor of God is upon me the gift of the Lord that is deposited within me makes room for me and it ushers me into the realm of greatness pray and prophesy let the devil hear you the Bible says as I hear you say before my ears so shall I do I'm blessed I'm blessed I'm blessed I'm lifted I have the mind of Christ I don't think failure I don't think defeat in the name of Jesus I'm an ambassador doing wonders for the kingdom I lay hands on the sick and they are healed I cast out devils the spirit of the Lord is upon me he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor to bind up the broken hearted to set the captives free to announce the acceptable year of the Lord and the year of vengeance of our God to give them beauty for ashes joy for the spirit of heaviness that they may be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of God the Lord is my shepherd I refuse to be in want he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the quiet waters he restores my soul and guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil my cup overflows surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life I dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever I am planted in the house of God and I flourish in the courts of God even in old age I shall be fat and flourishing hallelujah the Gentiles come to my light kings to the brightness of my rising that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in my body that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in my body it quickens my body no divination no enchantment against me can stand they shall gather but as surely as they gather they will scatter because the Lord is my portion the Lord is my inheritance I live to praise your name and I have no fear how could I have what tomorrow brings yeah. I live to praise your name and I have no fear I have no worry I live to praise your name and I have no fear of what tomorrow brings hallelujah the best way to predict your future is to create it hallelujah so that you are not confused about what to expect and he told Job, he said, Has thou commanded thy morning? Has thou commanded thy morning? He said, The heaven, even the heaven of heavens, belong to the Lord, but the earth has he given to the sons of men. The heaven of heavens belong to the Lord, 
But Job, has thou commanded thy morning? Have you instructed your future? Hallelujah. I refuse to enter into a coincidental future. No way. No. Hallelujah. You may not be able to do something about your past. But let me tell you something. It is absolutely within your power. God gave you anointing not for showmanship. He gave you the capacity to create. The only thing that can enter your future is the word of God. Nothing else can enter. Hallelujah. You can send the word. The Bible says he sent forth his word. Hallelujah. He sent forth his word. Listen. Every time you speak in faith, believing, I want you to realize that the word of God is creative in nature. Are you listening to me? To create means to make substance out of nothing. The word of God becomes that substance. It says, the word became flesh and dwelt among men. Every time the word of God materializes, it becomes something. The word can become anything. The word became flesh. It had substance. Listen, Jesus is the word. But you are the voice that will release that word. John said, I am the voice of one crying. Although I'm not the word, but I'm the one who gives breath. Hallelujah. That's the reason why the first characteristic of the spirit of depression is to bring you to a point of silence. Whenever the devil wants to destroy the life of a man, he brings you to a point where you cannot talk again. And at that point, you are hoping and wishing and trusting that things will change. But can I tell you something? It is not within, it's not just left for God to change things. You've got to use your mouth as a weapon of creation. Son of man, he said, can these bones live? He said, only thou knowest. He said, really, it's not within, if you want it to change, prophesy. He said, and I prophesied as, as I was commanded. There was a sound. You're going to prophesy one more time to your life. Many of us have left our future as a barren wilderness. You're just hoping one day that things will change. No. The fierceness of the world necessitates you rising up and beginning to practice the principles of the kingdom. I like the scripture that Bishop read. He said, they go from strength to strength. Hallelujah. As many that appear before him in Zion. Part of the things that happen in Mount Zion is that you go from strength to strength. Hallelujah. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. my head. Sing one more time. When I pray, thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Say after me, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Say it like you believe it. I am blessed. I'm, blessed. I'm anointed. The Spirit of God is upon me. I'm a threat to the kingdom of darkness. I know the word. I understand the word. I believe the word. The word is working for me. God cannot lie. I believe his promises. I'm an ambassador. Doing wonders for the kingdom. I have no covenant with death. I have no covenant with sickness. I'm the blessed of the Lord. His hand is upon me. I'm the glory of the Lord. I'm the beauty of the Lord. I'm well favored. I'm like a well watered garden. The Gentiles come to my light. The kings to the brightness of my rising. I'm distinguished. I have the oil of gladness. I know what to do. 
there's no confusion in my life the word of god is a lamp to my feet is a light to my path through wisdom my life is built by understanding it is established through knowledge my life is filled with blessings say one more time through wisdom my life is built i cannot be foolish the wisdom of god is at work i understand the principles of the kingdom say i understand the principles of the kingdom i know what to do i know how to prosper i know how to live in hell i know how to be victorious i know how to live long i know how to command results the hand of god is upon me the word of god is making me wise it's giving me an inheritance i'm not an ordinary christian i'm supernatural the anointing is at work in me i have an unction from the holy one in the name of jesus give god a shout of praise hallelujah it says i commend you to the word of his grace that is able to make you wise and then give you an inheritance listen listen if your life still remains in confusion then you do not understand the principles of the kingdom are you following me now the edge you have over carnal believers or unbelievers is the fact that you are not just walking in a system that you are hoping for things to happen by guesswork this is why we labor in the world day and night to see that you grasp an understanding everybody say understanding the bible says wisdom is the principal thing it says in all thy getting get understanding wisdom tells you what to do understanding tells you how to do it hallelujah one of the greatest blessings of the word of god is that it takes away ignorance the bible says hear me for an heir although he's an heir but as long as he's a child he differed not from a slave though he be lord of all so although it is true that there are certain things that have been written concerning you it takes understanding to walk into that experiential truth this is what we seek to do the word gives you understanding there are a lot of people who just preach for effect there are many people who preach just for swagger but let me tell you something if you are truly anointed you will preach to create understanding for as long as i do not know how to cook jollof rice i, I will keep guessing is that true mix everything when but when somebody who knows what to do the bible says follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise the word of god is full of the compendium of people that came they saw and they conquered they have left a testament of their exploits so that we by diligently following in partnership with the holy spirit will do these things and jesus said verily verily i say unto you he that believes in me in other words he that believes in all these truths the works that i do he said he shall also do and greater works that's what the bible says it says we are his workmanship created in christ jesus that we should show forth that there be a manifestation of the things that we have been predestined to do i told you this is a training ground this is not a place where you just come and sleep or you come and laugh no this is a place where god gives you understanding say after me understanding brothers and sisters let me tell you something when you have understanding confusion ends in your life when you have understanding the same boisterous river called life you will walk on it as if satan does not exist hallelujah we're going to pray one prayer and say lord grant me understanding grant me understanding say it from your heart grant me understanding these things that are still a mystery unto me open it up oh god the bible says jesus was going to the city called emmaus with two men 
And although he was the bread of life, they did not understand. But when he sat at table, he broke the bread and their eyes were open. Say, Lord, open my eyes. Open my eyes, oh God. When you know it, you have known it forever. When you know it, it will tell in your life. When you know it, there's no confusion about it. When you know it, see, he said they are life to those who find them. You can pretend to find it, but when you truly, 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 when you truly know it, it will show in your life. Say, Lord, teach me, teach me. I'm willing to learn, teach me. Open me up to the things of the Spirit. Open me to the things that command true power. The things that equip me to be an ambassador. You have told me I'm a sign and a wonder. Say, Lord, I don't want to keep seeing darkly. Open me up. The Bible says, if the light in your eye be darkness, how great is that darkness? But it is the entrance, not the reading, not the explanation, the entrance of the word that gives light. Pray. I receive understanding. I receive understanding that will put me in charge, put me in command. There is a generation waiting for my manifestation. Heaven is waiting for me. There are lives that are depending on my understanding the things of the kingdom. He reigns. He reigns. He is standing by my side to bring his word to pass. He reigns. He reigns, our God is an awesome, He reigns, He reigns, sing it with faith in your heart, He was standing by her side, hallelujah praise the lord god bless you you will be changed tonight in the name of jesus god bless you please be seated greet one another hug one another tell them it's good to see you again bring out your notepads your pen let's get to the business of the night When you seek him early, you will find him. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us of a parable of ten virgins. Hallelujah. And then the Bible tells us that five were what? They were all virgins, meaning they were all of the fold of God, same fold. But five were wise. You know, sometimes when I stand here, I just feel I should just open my heart. Look, let me tell you. The things you are learning that some of you take for granted, you will see people pay with their blood to receive it in the future. This is when you will appreciate it. You are not paying for it. Let me tell you something. The Bible says five there was a time all the ten had the opportunity to get extra oil is that true there was a time that they could have gotten as much oil this is the time right now but while five were paying they all had oil 
They all had oil. Is that true? They were anointed. They had knowledge. But the remaining five said, uh -uh, the fierceness of time will require that we hold extra oil. And while the five held extra oil, the remaining people, the Bible says, although they were virgins, they were foolish. What was their foolishness? Refusal to pay attention. When the, those who sold this oil said, remember the Bible says it is wisdom that stands on the street and cries. While men are passing, wisdom is saying, look, pay attention to me. We need a Sunday school department. Who did CEM? Please. Help that baby. Praise God. Are you listening to me? And then, all of them were gathered. What they did not know, listen, was that the oil was being used and would require refilling. And a time came when the lamp of the other five was dying. And the Bible says there was a sudden announcement. This is exactly how life will present itself. Sudden announcement. Here comes the bridegroom. Everybody, the Bible says the five who were wise, on the strength of their extra work, they now said, now we have enough for this occasion with the bridegroom. And then the remaining five, the remaining five who did not pay attention the Bible says they were, they came to beg the other five and say, please, can you give me small oil? They say, no, when it comes to this one, we don't, there are some things they cannot help you do. Listen, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters, there are certain parts in life that nobody can help you cross. No matter how they love you, nobody can get born again for you. Is that true? And the remaining five had to run out. I told you this thing. I'm giving you the scriptural basis. That when you don't pay attention to some things, no matter how far you go in life, the, the, the time they were supposed to run and go and buy, they didn't pay attention. Now they were forced to go out. And the Bible says, while they went, what happened? The door was closed. The door was closed. There are some things you are receiving right now. That you will bless God for tomorrow. I just sat this afternoon and I was just praying. I was just praying for everyone. And blessing God for the ability to hear and to receive the word of the Lord. Was that rain? If that's rain, bring the chairs inside. Bring the chairs. Just find anywhere and sit down. Come. Ushers, help them. Add chairs in the front. Add chairs everywhere. Come and sit down in the pulpit. Is the word that you are hearing now that will give you shelter tomorrow. Huh. You have been a shelter in the rain. You have been a doctor when in pain. Lord, you've been a listener when I call, oh Lord, you've been my friend, you have been a shelter in the rain, you have been a doctor when in pain. You have been a listener when I call. Oh Lord, you've been my friend. Listen, no matter what you are going through today, it's nothing compared to the whiplash that ignorance and lack of preparation will bring. I don't care what it is so long as you are breathing the bible says a time will come people will look for death and it will run away what kind of suffering will make a man look for death sit down anywhere sit on the floor it's better to sit on the floor don't be ashamed of the camera we're not 
We are not playing. We are not acting film here. This is this is life. Find a place. Sit everywhere. Come and sit around. Occupy some of these seats if you can. Just leave the minister seats. Sit any other place. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I treasure the truths that I'm hearing. And I take God seriously. Say it one more time in the name of Jesus. I treasure the truths that I'm hearing. They are life to me. Because I found them. Hallelujah. I receive calls almost daily, text messages, hundreds of text messages every day. And the major issue is that many people call and they are asking for help. Families. Believers who are born again, pastors, great men and women of God who are trying to find meaning as to why their lives are the way they are. Are you listening to me? Every time we counsel people, we counsel every Mondays and there are families that come with unanswered questions listen the level of unanswered questions that are falling upon people are becoming too serious people look people are asking questions questions about their personal success questions about longevity questions about health science has failed the government has failed i was reading the paper about, I mean, um, online now, about um, Egypt and the commotion that is happening. And this country and all the things that are happening. And tears just filled my eyes. I said, Lord, I don't know what you did to me that made me to pay attention to your word. But I pray that the people in Koinonia will pay as much attention. Will pay as much attention. The Bible says, my son, pay attention to my words. You see, let me tell you something. The days of begging people for the things of God are over. Are you listening to me? Where you tell people, oh, come, we'll give you sweets, two, two tom-tom, one vix, one tom-tom for coming. And the people say, really? Will they give it? Or oh, there's cold and then we'll prepare tea for you. And people come, they say, that tea I will take. Those days are over. Because... Whether or not, see, everybody in hellfire today believes in Jesus. I hope you know. The only mistake is that they believe too late. The Bible teaches us that there is a time. Please project Lamentations 3.28. Lamentations 3.28. I forbid you. I forbid you from failing in life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I forbid you from entering prostitution as a result of not listening to this message. I forbid our brothers from becoming arm robbers. Arm robbers are not just the ones who jump fence. I forbid you from going to a harbor list because you think the word of God is not working. Do you know the number of people that patronize harbor list, Bishop? It's not a hidden thing again. Pastors, prophets, Apostles, everybody. Look at graduates running helter skelter around Nigeria. Did you know that many people who run back to Zaria don't just run back because of desire, they run back because of the pain and the severity of the frustrations. But there is a way. 
God cannot leave people in the dark. There is a way. Listen, it's the glory of God to conceal a matter and the honor of kings to search it out. You must search it out. You must search it out. Hallelujah. You must search it out. It is good for a man. Man doesn't mean a male figure. just means a human being. It is good for a man that he bear his yoke. When? When? What is it about the youth of a man? The Bible says the glory of men is their strength. Is that true? Bear the burden. Pay the price. That's why I say this every time. You will quote me in the future. No matter how you cry, I don't care how you are looking at me, I will say it. Hate me, I will say it. I will preach it. We will file you. When you become a wonder tomorrow, you will look for us and say thank you. See, when you are in the training ground, there are some things you don't think about. You don't say, ah, my makeup, this powder is 10,000. Uh -uh. Or you say, Kai, this my suit is... Uh -uh. When you are in the training ground, you are there for business. It is when you win that you will celebrate. Is that true? Now is the time for training. So when we say pray in tongues, don't just say, ah, this fine guy is still looking. Pray! Open your mouth and pray. If you don't pray, life will whip you and you will still open that mouth. It will be open. The only thing is for what? Either to announce your pain and tragedy to the world that cannot help. Or to cry before God, who is our helper. I say, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence cometh my help. See, if you really get this thing, you have gotten it forever. Are you hearing me? I want one lady who can cook. You know, don't you know it's not pride. God has blessed you. You know you whether you're a caterer or something. Stand up, just one. Who is that? No, no, I'm not going to say you cook. It's an illustration. So, let's call the ones we are sure of. Opie, stand up. Oh yeah, now, stand up. Look at this, listen. If we ask you to make cake now, can you make it with absolute confidence? Ask me the same question. Ask me. No. I may try. It may work. I don't know. That's how many people's lives are. You tell them, how can you lead a man from point A to B? They say, well, I know. See, there is a level of persuasion I want you to get. Not just belief, persuasion. See how she just smiled about the cake thing. But if they ask you to, there are some of us, you've made it once, twice. Hallelujah. It wasn't bad, but you are not sure. Is that true? When I saw this guy snapping, and Oga John, I knew they knew what they were doing. Ask me to snap. All I know is to look at you and press that thing. Doesn't matter how it comes out. But these guys know something about perspective and angles and the rest. This is what I'm teaching you. Don't just enter the world blindly and hoping that things will change. There is a fierce world out there. Are you listening to me? You're not going to live in health by mistake. Please get this. Are you listening to me? Living in health is not a mistake. You're not going to be prosperous by mistake. One day you wake up and say, wow, so I made it. Mm -mm, it will never be by mistake. You're not going to know God by mistake. You won't have a glorious life and a ministry by mistake. You will not raise children after the fear of God by mistake. This thing of mistake or nemesis or if God wants it, he will do it. Stop that kind of language. It's not a good language. Say, if God really wants to bless me, after all, I didn't ask him for Jesus to die. So why would, if, wouldn't he freely give me all things? See, if you don't pay attention, you will be surprised. Is that true? Now, Hope, let me ask you. Was there a time you could make cake but not very well? What did you do? Did you train yourself? You went for catering school, Mrs. Kait. Abi, now listen. You went. You she followed those who, with faith and patience, leaving Samaru and going to PZ every time. 
because she was determined. Is that true? Now, she can bake cake for wedding. Somebody will give her 50,000 overnight. Is that true? And somebody will say, ah, hope that the same, uh, our birthday is the same. No, it's not the issue of birthday. This is why people get angry at the success of their colleagues. Because they think life respects age. Ask Elihu. They say, ah, when did the uh, promise become successful like this? When the same koinonia, the same, in the same class, taught by the same teacher, somebody will get 100, somebody will get zero. Is that true? God bless you. Please sit down. If you pay attention, if you pay attention and you give it seriousness, I promise you, it's a guarantee. I promise you. You know what? I said this thing right from when we used to meet at the back of chapel. That we will be so successful and the beautiful part is that we will all know ourselves. So that it will not be guesswork. You will know what you did. You know, when you ask a pretty lady, you say, I, I see how fine you're looking. What is response? You say, it's God. Bro. Yes, it's God. But let me explain to you. It's God. God gave grace. You took advantage of that grace. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. He said, but this grace was not showered upon me in that I labored more than he all. It's God that gives children. It's the woman that carries the gift. Correct? So that tomorrow, when you are blessed, it will not be a mistake. And the purpose of the blessing is to make others a blessing. That's why your blessing can never be by mistake. God will teach you the steps and you can guide somebody. Tomorrow, some of you, you are looking at me now. Some of you will be the ones on air. Presidents of nations will come to see the hand of God upon your life. And when they ask you, you will be talking to other people. When you see somebody sagging his jeans and laughing, say, look, for your own good, you better wash this childishness and sit down in one place. It's not the issue, oh, I can do both. It's the matter of the heart. Sit down and allow God to build you. Hallelujah. Proverbs 18, we've been considering the su subject of success. I tell you, my spirit is fired up. Proverbs 18. We began two weeks ago by talking about the spiritual dimension of success. Give me this mountain. Hallelujah. Played the documentary and we thought, I told you that success is spiritual. Everything, life in itself is spiritual. Don't let secular humanists deceive and confuse you. Life is spiritual. Hallelujah. Then we considered the place of wisdom. The dimension of wisdom that cannot be gotten by studies. The dimension of wisdom that cannot be gotten by accumulation of experiences. Job said, this wisdom is not found in the land, in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Today I want to talk, still building on success. What do you have in your house? Proverbs 18. I want to share a powerful secret and I trust God that will pray. Proverbs 18 verse 16. Proverbs 16. Let's read together. You can look up. One to read. And bring it him before great men. One more time. Now, where a man is, put your name. Ready to read? One, two. Don't say my gift. My is not your name. This is English. One, two, go again. Mean it from your heart now. One, two, go. Father, bless your word tonight. In the name of Jesus, give us understanding. Let the fruits of this teaching speak. Let it abide in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says the gift of a man can do what? The word make there is create. It can create space for him in life. And usher him. Can we get it from NIV? 
or New Living Translation, anyone? Ah, is that's that's not is that that's not the version? That's a different. 1816. A gift does what? Is is not saying a gift like a bribe. No, just forget. It's not like a bribe. We are not talking of Nigeria here. Are you following me now? Because many of you, that's what you think I'm talking about. No, I'm not saying a gift like a seed. Huh? No, a gift. The gift of a man. It says what, my dear? It opens the way for who? Not the giver's friend. Not the giver's brother. It opens a way for what? And does what? And ushers him into the presence of it says the gift of a man. Whether there is space or not, the gift can push people and create space for him and usher him into the place of the great. A man's gift can make room. Have you ever heard people say no space? Have you heard that language? Sorry, no space. If there was space, it would have helped you. The Bible says a man's gift has the ability to push people and make space. Not only that, when other people are segregating, it can usher him to the place of the great. Hallelujah. It can usher him to the place of the great. Write it quickly. What is a gift? God-given abilities. God-given abilities. Your potentials. God-given abilities. That's simply what a gift is. Your God-given ability. The Bible says if you take it seriously... It can create space for you in life. This night we are not just talking of gift. We are also talking of skill. What's your skill? Your learned abilities. Acquired abilities. The difference between a gift and a skill. Is that one is God given. It can only be developed. The other one can be learned. It can be acquired. Both of them have the capacity to bring you before great people. Say amen. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us of an interesting person called Joseph. Hallelujah. The Bible says that he had Joseph, by the way, please. Joseph was not a dreamer, for God's sake. Are you listening to me? Joseph was not a, there was nothing spectacular about the dreams of Joseph. As far as we know in the Bible, he had only two dreams. How many times have you had it? Have, have you dreamt? Are you a dreamer? So Joseph was not, his gift was not dreaming. His gift was the ability to interpret dreams. Are you following me now? So the Bible says that because of that ability, his brothers envied him. Many things happened. And then the Bible, I'm just rushing now. The Bible says when he was put, remember when, when um, Potiphar's wife and all her story, 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 let's just jump it. He found himself the prison is that true and the bible says when he found himself in the prison there was the wine presser and the baker but he realized that he had something is that true are you following me now when it was time for god to bless him god made the king to dream and close the heavens over the sorcerers and the magicians are you listening to me they got up in the morning and tried to do their enchantment as usual. No way. Because it was time for God to bring a man into success. But God realized that a gift can open a way. What way? The way of the prison. Nothing else would have opened that way for Joseph. Because they were not planning to bring him out. Is that true? There are many people today. Who do not realize. That if they take advantage of the gift of God that is in them. It has the ability to take them from where they are into realms that they never dreamt possible. And tonight, this is our prayer. We've been examining the principles of success. 
there is a dimension of success that only your gift can bring to you are you hearing what i'm saying your gift this dependency attitude of nigerians is what has stopped them from exploring their gift have you heard that statement what is it in english may god give you so that we will get it's, it's a wrong concept of dependence. That's how many of us are waiting. Say, oh boy, just get work. Once you are there, just remember me. Your boy is there. Oh. See, let me tell you, if that is your mindset, you are going to suffer in this Nigeria. And in case you think you will run abroad, you will still suffer. There are still people, there are people under the bridge of every nation, true or false. Every nation in the world has, has bridge and there are people that sleep there. It's just that films don't carry it. There is ghetto everywhere, true or false. So, many of us have this escapism mind. You are just trying to get lottery and say, oh God, let this green American lottery just happen. They would go and see how many Nigerians live like, like outcasts abroad. Because they believe. I've told you. There is nowhere called greener pastures. Greener pastures is the word of God. The Bible says he makes me lie down. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Many people want to run to delta or rivers. Say ah oh yeah we are coming to chop our share of the national cake. Go and find out how many poor people were born and bred in that same land. Are you listening to me? Everybody say, I have a gift. Say it, I have a gift. It can make room for me. It can take me from where I am to where God wants me to be. Hallelujah. Second Kings. Somebody is catching this thing and leaving some realms forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Catching this and leaving some realms forever. Hallelujah. Who would have known that comedians will be paid millions in Nigeria today? Look up, please, everybody. How many of you used to play football and you come back home and they've kept the cane to flog you? As soon as you are entering, there's a way you greet your father. He says, hey, hey, you already know that this night. But today, that same football, are you listening to me? That same football, has blessed people. Comedians, for heaven's sake, they won't come until you give them 2.5 million or 5 million to come and talk. They just crack a joke. Hallelujah. There are artists today, artists today, those who draw caricature for banks, they are paid millions of naira millions of naira listen if you get what i'm teaching you this night something will happen in your life some of you it will happen instantly A young man called gray farah many of you know him gray farah at age 10 was wondering what to do with his life and he found out that he liked stones and he decided to start painting stones so that people will use it to just you know, just press their books and their doorposts. And people started looking at him and laughing. Every time people saw it, they just laughed. And they said, well, let's just help this small boy. Little did they know that that was a champion in the making. A time came, he started packaging those stones very well. At age 12, Grefara became a millionaire. At age 14, he was seated in the board of directors of 14 companies. Age 14. How old are you? Are you listening to me? I want you to know that if you take advantage of the gift, the gift of God is his seed in you that is supposed to help you enter the realm where you have influence and honor to legislate on behalf of heaven. Are you listening to me? Jeremiah Gyang, I've told you, Jeremiah Gyang used to be in Joss. That guy they call Jeremiah Gyang. Now, um, whether they are serving Satan or God is not the issue now. Are you listening to me? 
the issue is that the gifts were developed. You, you, get, you get the point? The guy you call M.I. I've said it. Jesse Jacks. We were Sunday school mates. While all of us were looking at ladies, hey, pastor's daughter, this, those guys were building their potentials. Just like some of you were doing. You go to church, you won't sit down, you will use your offering money, buy ice cream, be playing ball at the back of the church. That's what you were doing. Whereas others were hearing the word and go. See the difference right now. Are you listening to me? That these things have been perverted does not negate the fact that if they are gifts, they will still bring men to honor. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Second Kings 4. The story of an interesting woman. Now, there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet. So the, the person was the son of a prophet. Look at me. I want to tell you something. Maybe I'm going to create another controversy now this night. Listen. That your man of God or your spiritual father or mentor is anointed does not automatically guarantee that you will enter success. Did you hear what I'm saying? The Bible says this guy was the son of who? That means it does not respect anointing. Hmm. Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest what thy servant, that thy servant feared the Lord. And the creditor is come to take my two sons to be slaves. And Elisha said to her, listen now. This woman was in a situation where she needed a miracle. Two of her children were going to go as slaves. Hallelujah. What did Elisha tell her? He said, what shall I do for you? And he asked a question. He said, tell me, what hast thou in thy house? What do you have where? In your house. And the Bible says, there is this treasure in this house, these earthen vessels. He said, what do you have? The woman had been running helter-skelter, running helter-skelter, and she met the prophet. And the prophet said, what do you have in your house? Could it be that many of you who have been running helter skelter or many families need to calm down and look at what you have in your house i've learned by experience and by the word that the blessing of a man is always not far from him it's just that there is no discernment to recognize it are you listening to me yes the blessing of a man is always not far from him sometimes it's ridiculously close you may not even know there were many people who walked with Jesus, yet they were looking for miracles and until Jesus went to heaven, they were not blessed. Because they did not realize. Your miracle can be so close, you may not know. The Bible says, And she said, Thy handmaid had not anything in the house except what? A pot of oil. You see how she didn't place value on it? The Bible says she said, Thy handmaid had what? Nothing. Nothing. That means this thing is not of worth, but just for the sake of answering you, let it be there. Thy handmaid had nothing. There are many of you that God has given you certain things and you have been calling it nothing. 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 The gift of a man. Whether it's a spiritual gift, is whatever kind of gift the Bible says the gift of a man can single handedly pick you where you are, take you out, and exalt you. It can, it can, I tell you, it can. Hallelujah. The man called Reinhard Bonke, he said he was considered by everybody to be a dollar, what people call a dollar, complete dollar, dollar IQ, low, everything low. But one day he discovered that there was the gift of God in his life. And today, hundreds of thousands of people all over the world celebrate this man. Called Reinhard Bonke. His name is synonymous to soul winning. Because he discovered the gift. And it created space for him among the great. It ushered him. When you are mentioning great people in history, you will mention him. Men who have done great things for the kingdom. Are you listening to me? In history, there's a woman called Mother Teresa. 
didn't have the ability to heal the sick and do all of this but she discovered that she had a gift in her she refined it to a point that she gave it and gave her life and forever history will remember her. are you hearing me the gift of a man i want you to know that there is an ability in you nobody here is a biological accident i know you've been hearing it ah your parents planned for four children and you are the fifth one you just came and every time they see you they say see we didn't prepare for you so you you better know this thing you are stubborn no wonder we didn't prepare for you and for some of us these words have entered us but i'm speaking to you tonight that out of the six billion people in the earth there is still space for those who are ready to make their see at the top there is space the congestion is always below are you hearing what i'm saying if you can pay the price to rise to the top you will sit there and be wondering 90 percent of the world's wealth is controlled by less than 10 percent of the world's population and they left the remaining 10 percent they spread it across and flung some in africa and everybody is running like rats whereas somebody can arise a man called Wole so Inka got up and looked and said look the boundaries of Africa will not stop me he knew that he had something see I want you to be persuaded persuaded it always does not look like it can make you great until you see the way men celebrate it Matthew Ashimolo hawk bread in this area some of our parents bought bread from him. While they were eating it, he was prophesying, Lord, the world will hear me. you say, I bring bread, 20 naira you take. Yet, this guy was moving. Within a short period of time, now he has commanded what we call apostolic territorial legislation. That's what he's doing in London bought acres and hectares of land that they would never give to a black person and is legislating on behalf of heaven a man calls on their delaja till date he does not speak fluently he got up and went to a communist country ukraine and stayed there led a part of those who led right now he's among the fourth most influential people in that state 80 percent of the people in his church are whites he has led a revival and broken some barriers say after me my gift Say it, my gift will make room for me. Let me share with you a little story. They know about it. Years ago, I went to a particular bank in this country to go and beg for loan. I just entered promising, I believe God, spoke in tongues, fasted, prayed, I got up. You know, there's a way they can look. You see, let me tell you, people have be careful i'm warning you now in advance be careful the way you you turn people down because let me tell you it does not show the bible says now it does not yet appear went to squat in my friend's house in abuja i got up went to the bank met them told them i was begging for loan these people dribbled me dribbled me made a fool out of me embarrassed me in the bank I didn't I said what is all this thing and I laughed I said one day they will call me are you hearing that one day what's the name of this guy that ran for second uh, vice president Tunde Bakari a bank came and met him and said sir we are begging you to collect a loan of 10 million dollars we want to give you no capital the name of the capital is human capital do you know what human capital is you and your reputation is what will be a, a collateral so banks are looking for dangote and looking for this and then some of you run there and they say get out of this place we are looking for people who have used their gifts tell yourself no man will mock your god in your lifetime this is what has happened to some of you you see your father stand no rent and a landlord will stand and blast all of you blast you say look at you pretty for nothing eh? you are all these kind of nigerian people just laugh 
and say you will invite him when you are cutting the scissors of the duplex you are building for your parents. The gift of a man. The gift of a man. The gift of a man. The gift of a man makes room for him. I'm speaking to some of you. Some of you think, don't just think I'm motivating you. I'm speaking to your spirit. I told myself I will never go anywhere where anybody will look and I'll have to chicken out and hide myself. I have something. I have something. I have something. When you find it, it so happens that God carved your own like your fingerprints. God is not a fool. He will not put competition around. He gave you your uniqueness. What is your uniqueness? When you know your uniqueness and you are persuaded about it, you found your secret of glory in life. Did I do something here? I think I've done something. Did, was it me? Oh, okay. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I have seen people in this life that years ago, they would look at me. They wouldn't, some of them, <laughs> let me tell you something. Ah, life. Somebody who will be driving you today, tomorrow will be the one who it will be the honor. I've gone to homes that I went years ago. Years ago. They were looking at me like some of these are serious people. But now, when they hear you are coming, it's as if God is coming. Say, say after me, the gift of a man. Yes. The gift of a man makes room for him makes room. The brothers of Joseph did not realize his gift. They didn't know it would be an honor one day for them to see their own brother. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. One time they went and suddenly they found out that their brother was now the prime minister in Egypt. Could it be that some of you who are sitting down today, somebody who has looked at you and said, Tolu, one day the person will say, Tolu, please talk to XYZ for us. May God make you a wonder. May God stop you from being small. What is that gift? What is that gift? For some of you is wisdom. When you think of Benny Hinn, you think of the healing anointing. When you think of Aura Roberts, you think of healing. When you think of JJ Okocha, you think of football. Mark Zuckerberg, you think of IT. What is your uniqueness? Define what makes you different. That's what the world will pay for. What makes you different? The greatness is not in your similarity. The greatness is in your difference. When you master your difference, you will exchange it for honor. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Praise the Lord. The world is full of people. What is your difference from others? Do you know it? Do you even believe it? There are many musicians in this country equally anointed. But when you call Sinach, there is a there is a, a carving. She has carved a brand for herself. When you mention Frank Edwards, they, they not only discovered their gifts, they discovered what was unique about that gift. That's what makes you priceless. When you discover that gift, you will know that you are not one of the many people roaming around the earth. Oh, there is something about your life. You may be in the same class. You may be in the same office. But let me tell you, you are not the same. You are not the same. You may be doing ministry. Everybody is doing prophetic ministry. Everybody is doing apostolic ministry. Everybody is doing evangelical ministry. What is it about yours? What is it about yours? Every great man in life not only discovered his or her gift, but the uniqueness about that gift. What is your uniqueness? What makes you stand out from the rest? I'm asking you, and God is asking you. What makes you stand out from the remaining people? Listen, when you find your gifts, the next step is to begin to refine it. This is the hardest part. Because your gift at its default state is not good enough to make you marketable. Did you hear what I'm saying? Refine yourself. Build yourself. 
a lot of us don't do this christians are very 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 lazy people you know what made us lazy the fact that there is something called the favor of god there is something called the wealth of the wicked that will be transferred to the righteous and people just say my wealth come find your way into my pocket and <laughs> look let me tell you people have been confessing that thing from the day you were born and they thought it just works like that till today it has not come when the bible says the wealth of the wicked people just people just just craft that thing and pick out what they want the wealth of the wicked will come into the bible says god give it to a man that is good in his sight wisdom and he said to the unbeliever he give it to heap and to travail so that he will bring it it is your wisdom hallelujah what is your gift what is your uniqueness what makes you stand out what makes you stand out among all of the graduates in nigeria what do you think will make you get a job what do you think will make you become a ceo what do you think will make you become an uncommon i preached a message extra what did i what extraordinary anointing what makes you extraordinary hallelujah what makes you extraordinary it's not your place of birth it's not even whether you are from a royal family or not what makes you different from other people if i write a book today what is the difference between my book and that of david biome or that of bishop oyedeko or that of paul Enenche? what is the difference many of you like doing the same things that's why you are not moving anywhere this how a lot of people we like we think it will work because you are doing copy and paste there is beauty in being unique are you listening there are even even among bad people there are some arm robbers that are notable because they were unique their degree and strategy of arm robbery was so touching they said no i won't steal like the rest this thing is common there is a strategy this follow follow attitude is good to follow people but you must follow with wisdom many of you every time god is telling you move left and you see a crowd moving right you think you are wrong a whole nation can be wrong that a thing is popular does not mean it is right the path of greatness is a lonely path few people follow it that's why you will not find many people you would think you are making a mistake wait until you arrive there everybody will turn and say ah i need pastors in that journey hallelujah what is your gift do you realize that if you take that gift some of us is plotting just plotting do you know that if the lord anoints it and wisdom comes upon that gift you will be able to establish something that will make you so influential you can legislate for the kingdom are you listening to me a lot of people say billy graham all the presidents go to greet him but what people do not know is that it was part of his life's goal. He believed that he was called to evangelize to great people. His, he really didn't believe his gift was just normal evangelism. He believed that he was called to evangelize to great people. He sent them hundreds of telegrams again and again. They kept bouncing him. He didn't stop. What you see or what you have seen is the reward of many years. There are some of you, God has spoken a lot of things. God has told you. Some of you will own banks. Some of you will own corporations. Hallelujah. You started selling recharge card, nothing happened. People just say, and you know believers have this ugly way. Once you start something, nobody buys it. They say, oh God, leave this thing. Oh, if God is in it, speed will come, favor will come. It is lack of the understanding of the principles of the kingdom. You can never know success until you know failure. In the school of greatness, your greatest asset is your failure. Are you listening to me? Are you following me? I'm teaching you something very powerful. My gift can make room for me. My gift can make room for me. 
worshipped him. Wrote him means rehearsing all the time. Hallelujah. He's been with us for years. We've, we've gone, every, I know how much he rehearses money because he believes. This is, a, this is a master student. I think he should have rounded up his masters. But he just believes that there is something upon this. And he's taking it all the way. Tomorrow, presidents will call him and he'll just be playing. And they'll sign checks of millions and you'll be wondering and saying, ah, ah, just keyboard. You, you play your own as you are playing. They just, they point, they will even talk to you. They'll just say this way, go out. Those who do decoration, do you know there are those who do decoration for presidential figures? There's this guy called Yam, Yal Yam Press. Joda, what's his name? I, I heard that he was in Zaria here. Is that true? Now he got up with his publishing. And today he has become a multi-millionaire. Yet there were others who started before him. This afternoon we went to pray for uh, one of our ladies father in Shik. And while we were passing somewhere, we saw this. I mean, we we're talking about people who were pushing who used to push wheelbarrow jakes was saying ah this wheelbarrow business used to sell before and we're talking and then wale pointed one man's shop and said this man it was by pushing that wheelbarrow right now he has one of the largest shops around say i will not let men despise my gift say it many of you have stopped developing your gifts because you have been lied to some of you can cook and all you can cook is Amala. And you, you have a dream of having somewhere just Amala people love as a yourself. Abba! You want to disgrace the world. See, greatness lies in the bosom of those who can go the extra mile with their gifts. Refuse to let men talk you down. It's better to take a step and fail honorably. They will clap for you. The one who tried and failed is better than the one who didn't try and is just making noise. Oh, pass the ball to number five. Ah, you would have just passed that in now. If you are taking that penalty this way, look at simple penalty. See you, see goalkeeper. Talk is cheap. Somebody is sweating in the field for 90 minutes. Somebody else is talking. Say if it was me, that thing, the way he did it like you, that it would have been a goal now. That's how many people in life are. How can he graduate, not get a job? How can blah, 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 and they are not doing anything? You are in 200 level, your lecturer told you, ah, you are a nice student. Say, I cannot understand why graduates are not getting jobs. Then you finish and carry your CV to the same man that commended you. <laughs> and he says, get out of my office. You are like, ah, ah. Say after me, my gift will make room for me. Say my gift will make me great. Say one more time. My gift will make me great. Yes. Some of you are architects. You are good but not very good. And God is telling you refine that gift. One day you will get, let me tell you something. Once you can provide solution, nobody cares about your age or what you can do or who, are you hearing me? The gift of a man defies race and age and anything. Once you see people discriminating you, your gift is not notable enough. When your gift is notable enough, you will break every kind of barrier. Hallelujah. What do you have in your house? And the woman said, nothing. Probably somebody said, me, I can just make people laugh. That's my own. Everybody calls me a dollar. Zero in math, zero in English. P in such as, uh, uh, you know, just anything, literature. But you can speak small. At least make people laugh. Why don't you say, Lord, if you can use this. This is what Reinhard Bonke said. He said, Lord, if you can use this, then use me. Do you know your beauty too is a gift? Hello? There are cynical guys that anytime they see a pretty lady, they are just angry. Why? I don't know. Say, look, don't think because you are beautiful in this place. Beauty is nothing. It's a lie. Beauty is something. Beauty is a gift. The book of Esther, there was no pastor, no prophet, nothing, just a beautiful woman. She was the ambassador of God. Many of you feel guilty for being fine as if you gave back to yourself. It has happened. It has happened. Cherish it. Build it. 
and use it for the glory of God. Don't use it to go to men in TJ Palace. Tell yourself this beauty, could it be that God will make you marry the minister of finance so that when you are there as Esther, when they want to cut corners, you say, uh-uh. Do you believe this? I want you to be wealthy. I want you to be blessed. Don't let anybody fool you that money will take you to hell. It's not true. Money only amplifies what you are. If you are a thief, money will make you a bigger thief. If you are, if you are immoral, money will give you more options. You can now rent a bigger hotel. If you love God and have a desire to advance his kingdom, money will make you do that better. You will build roads. You will build schools. When I went to Sheik, I was sharing with them. I said, one of my dreams in life is to have a very big hospital. This is why you need to be successful. Say, I will be successful. Don't feel guilty about it. Say it. Say, I'll be rich. I'll be blessed for the kingdom. give God your beauty. Yes, I have nothing but everybody keeps telling me I'm a pretty person. Why don't you bring it and say, Lord, you can use this. Anoint it. Let this beauty make room for me and take me to a place where I'm in a position of influence to legislate for the kingdom. Some of you are very intelligent. People are sweating, reading overnight. You wake up that morning, one hour to the exam and browse and get A. You think it's ordinary. Is an ability of God. Why don't you stretch it through and say, I will get to a position where I will do great things. When they make me a vice chancellor because of my academic prowess, I will now legislate on behalf of heaven. When they bring the names of people who don't qualify, we kick them out and say, no. This person may be poor, but he deserves a chance. Give him a chance. Are you listening to me? Some of you will put scholarships for less privilege. Some of you will name it after your accomplishments. You will be so great, they will name a foundation after you. Joshua Selman Foundation. No, no, look. It will happen. The beauty of success is that it depends on you and God. It will happen. It will happen. You know how many women have named their children Joshua? Look at how long Matthew's surname is Ashimo Lowo. The whole world is calling it. They have never complained that it's too long. When you become great, when you become great in life, when you become great in life, I watched a DVD of Apostle Johnson Suleiman. He went for a crusade. When he came down, I saw how the God, they interviewed him in CNN for 12 minutes. Nobody will say you are a Nigerian or you are an African. No. Listen. Are you going to remain where you are? Are you not seeing your family members crying? Is it not obvious that they need a savior? How many of you have seen your father come under pressure? No rent. No nothing. What are you doing about it? I told myself I'll come to a point in my life where I'll put all my family members on perpetual salary for their lifetime till they go to be with Jesus Christ. Brothers, how would you like that kind of thing? If wishes were horses, beggars would beg to ride, but wishes are not horses. But you can turn that wish into a horse. By applying these principles I'm teaching you. And you will ride on it gloriously. What do you have in your house? This is what God is asking you. What do you have? What do you have in your house? Don't sit down and be admiring great people and say, Hi, lucky for them. Oh, you people have gone. do so pray for us. Say, I'm going to do something. Say it. If you know your uniqueness, how many books are you reading? How many books? How many books are you reading? Readers are leaders. How many books are you reading in the area of your call? If you are snapping this camera, if you cannot mention five people in this country 
that are good or around, I know you are not serious. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You, is that, God is calling me into a healing ministry. Show me whose DVDs you have, who God has called into that healing ministry. Where you are, you are reading how they started. When you go to my house, you don't find, okay, there's, there, there are two movies now. They did, the Lord of the Ring is still there. Then this Tyler Perry's film, Menace. I can't remember again. I can't even remember the name. But there are people that have modeled what I see God making me become. And I sit down. I study. I want to empower God's people. I want to make them ambassadors. Set them on fire. Do you have a unique grace? Do you have a unique gift? Are you doing anything about it? Some of you just sit down and keep pitying yourself and disturbing those who are moving towards their destiny. Try this life self. Now, wow. If we were abroad by 18 years, they would have given us this. If you, listen, I'm not laughing this night. If you don't stop that attitude, you will find that you are 50 years and you are still talking like that. Now, you know there are some people who believe it's just nemesis. That's just how life is for us. Naughty used to work in our family. My sister too is like that. No job, no marriage. Me, ma'am, like that. No job, no marriage. As if you do not know that you can change it. You go to a place of employment, they kick you out, laugh, and say one day we will drink tea with the CEO of this company. We went to Shika and one, one, one man just stopped us. One guard man that is tried where he was doing his job. The guy stopped us and said, we are not going anywhere. We were trying to plead him. He said, we are not going anywhere. And Shade's husband is like the ogre of the whole, you know, the security company that employs the people. So I called Shade. I said, Todd, they've stopped us. So wanted to go and pray for her father. And she was just happy. She just got one bigger guy. The guy just marched and came. When they came, at once they allowed us and we waved the man and we left. Be careful what you call impossible because somebody will come and make it possible. Would have, there were some people who were waiting there. But when Chade's husband came, he saluted him and we were happy. We were partakers of the glory. <laughs> it taught me a lesson. It taught me a powerful lesson. Impossible is a relative statement. They can close the door for others and say, sorry, it cannot be opened. Sorry, it cannot be opened. You will be amazed to see how they will open it for somebody. I told you there are some people that bank on Saturdays and Sundays too. Is that true? It's only for the masses that bank ends 3 p.m. on Friday. They say, oh yeah, go out, let's lock this bank. But there are people on Sunday because of one man, they'll open the bank and say, your excellency, sir, please. Come in. We went to Starcoms and I saw one account officer sitting there. Why will a bank give an account officer to come and sit in a, in, a, in a telecommunications company? Some of you, you will have in your own house. You say, so how much are we sending for this school now? Send 10 million for this school, 10 million for this one, 50 million for this. I hear that there is a church building. Send 15 million for it. God punish the devil. Let me talk like, doc <laughs> Let me talk like Dr. Abel Damina. He likes it. God punish the devil. Say, I'll be great in life. I'm inspiring you tonight. This was the decision I made years ago. Let me tell you the truth. This decision will cost you something. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you willing to pay the price? The woman said, nothing except a little cruise of oil. What did the prophet tell her? He said, go and borrow. You, you are not permitted to borrow oil, but you can borrow vessels. What are vessels? Books. DVDs experiences sit down under the feet of mentors and great people that have gone ahead and listen i've told you this attitude of saying we are all equal we are equal in christ but when it comes to the school of greatness wisdom is ability to recognize difference there are people i will never no matter how crazy i am i will never if i ever get to a meeting and they are seated there i must salute and recognize them before speaking wisdom mike modok says is the ability to recognize difference many of you don't know difference at all hallelujah
Doctors don't go about looking for sick patients. They establish an institution and say, if you are sick, find your way here. Is that true? If you really want to be treated, what will you do? You have to go to the hospital. Is that true? Many of us want the doctors to come and find us and treat us. Sorry, life does not work like that. Get up and begin to do something about your life. Make up your mind. Five o'clock in the morning, I'm awake. How can a young man be sleeping by 10, 11, 12? You yawn by 12 when others are already writing their names in time. And you, you wonder why things will not work for you. Let me tell you, God is a merciful God, but he's a just God. I know the number of times I sleep in a day. I'm always building myself. Nobody will deceive me. Compared to where I'm going, this is just a step out of the cave. Are you listening to me? This is rehearsals. I tell people, ministry has not started yet. When we get to that level of kingdom influence, where we will not talk too much, at that time I won't be shouting like this again. It's when you don't have results, you shout too much. Charles and Francis Hunter say one miracle is worth a thousand words. If Michael Jackson only said, Jesus is Lord. That statement with that level of influence will bring more harvest than what we'll be doing every week in Zaria here for one year. Is that true? Everybody say influence. This is what your gift. Let me tell you very quickly before we pray. What your gift can do for you. Number one. Your gift and your skills when refined and developed will create opportunities. Everybody say opportunities. Your gift, your skill when refined when developed my friend a military man took me to a place in abuja when i entered that place is a is a spa place a beauty place they took me there to bath me ah when i entered that place i knew that there was difference between clipper and clipper barbie saloon and barbie saloon barbers and barbers The way they treated me when I sat down and they barbed me. In my mind, I was saying, is this me? Hallelujah. When they finished, they put a lotion. I don't know what it is. My head just foamed like Father Christmas. And they told me, enter this room. I entered. I was enjoying. I don't care what it is. I don't need to know. I will employ somebody who knows when I'm blessed. Hallelujah. And when they washed my head and I finished, they appreciated me. Ah! I said, what kind of place is this? And they showed me the owner, a Lebanese woman who was also walking quietly. Nobody even knew. When we finished everything, time came for bill. It said 600 naira. For barbing, That's what you will pay when you meet someone who has refined his gifts. The same food, a cup of coffee in Transcorp Hilton is 2005. Everybody say cup of coffee. How much is coffee? Nescafe, this type they shake there. How much? 50 naira. If you price 20 naira. Yet it's the same thing you pay. This decoration you are seeing. There are people who can decorate over 2 million, some even 5 million. You will name your price by your refining of your gifts. Write it. Your gift and your skill will create opportunities. If Rotimi continues this a day, see, how the opportunity will come is none of your business. Just know it will come. The Bible says, just like you do not know the way of the wind, or how bones are formed in the womb of how a child. So also you do not know the way of God. How it will happen is none of your business. Hallelujah. One of my uncles called me. My father's friend. Years ago when they come to our house. We are the ones who run to go and wash the car. How are you? We go and wash. I said no problem. I will wash it. He called me of recent and said, ah, ah, I've been hearing a lot. We are seeing the things you are doing. I said, bless God. Oh. 
said, when will you come now? We need to discuss. There's something we need to sit down man to man. I said, that's right. <laughs> when, when your father starts talking to you like that, it's a sign that you are making progress. When your father says, there are some things I want to discuss with you, but I, when, let everybody sleep. Come out. Clap for yourself. You are trying. That's, that's a sign. When your father says, look, there are some secrets we don't tell people. Who are the people? When your gift starts showing, there are doors that will start opening. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of you, you think you are too young to enter some doors. No, sir. No, ma. If you, if you refine yourself, I promise you that door will open. There are places I have entered today by the grace of God. I know there is no human way under the sun under the sun that I will enter that place. Hallelujah, I have a gift. Laugh at me, the gift is in me. It will never go out. God gave it to me. The way God did it, God put the gift. The only way to enjoy the gift is to carry me along with the gift. You can't carry the gift and leave me. There are people today, if the gift of God was not in my life, they will see me and just his and pass. But God orchestrated it. You must need me because you need that gift. Oh, I celebrate his name. That's why I rejoice. Such as I have. Go and borrow vessels. This is what the prophet said. Sister, borrow vessels. Read the books. You may, if you borrow vessels, the gift will expand. The oil was there. The problem was there was no vessel. Esther was beautiful, but her beauty was not yet sufficient to take her to the king's palace. Is that true? She was beautiful. Many of you are sitting on gifts today that you are paying for. During my birthday, the things that people brought for me, it was as if it was wedding. You know how they finish wedding and you pack the gifts. I just sat down. I said, years ago, I did my birthday alone. Ah, somebody is after two weeks. You say, ah, is it not your birthday? Your birthday, 25th. Is it not? Am I wrong? Say you are right. So say, oh, happy birthday. But there is something that can happen. One year before your birthday, somebody is preparing because of your gift. Who is God speaking to this night? Who is God speaking to this night? Who is God telling tonight that if you can pay attention, we are discussing on the subject of success. Some of you have been sitting on treasure. You are in the middle of an ocean begging for water. You are in the middle of an ocean. You are an artist. You are watching on TV drawings that are not half your capacity. They are rewarding the people whereas you are there. When I watch preachers on TV preach, I tell you with all humility, I just get up and I rejoice. I say, God, you tried for me. We're on our way coming. And I get up, I rejoice. I say, Lord, I may not know everything, but at least I know something. I know something that I can preach anywhere and not be ashamed. Come on now. Some of you, the business acumen that you have, even the CEOs of banks and cooperatives do not have. Listen, that you have not entered that place does not mean you don't have it. Who would have known that Zuckerberg's gift was so good like this? It takes time to prove it. But that does not mean it's not there. Some of our worshippers, some of these people you are seeing, the gifts that they have, you will see them tomorrow and say, I know this person. I know that person. Abel Damina was born in Samina Kahir. Right here in this area. Who cares where I was born now? Who cares where I was raised? Even if it was with firewood we used to prepare and cook. It's, 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 look, when you are blessed, you are blessed. When you know it, you have known it. If it opens the door, it will open the door forever. It will open the door this week and close it next week. Say, I have a solution for the world. Say it, I have a solution. Some of you are music groups. Some of you are individuals. Who has talked you down? I'm speaking to somebody this night. Who has talked you down? Somebody ate your food and said, God forbid, if your restaurant is the only one, I will just, let me, I will learn how to cook by myself. Allow the person. Who has talked you down? I want you to know tonight 
that the spirit of the Lord is upon you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The spirit of creativity. Bel Bezalel. That spirit came upon him. And he was given the mission of crafting. I'm speaking to you. Who has talked you down, my brother? Who has talked you down? See, many of you see us today. And you think we were born this way. Wait till you hear some stories. When you see great people, you think they had opportunities to just climb. Let me tell you, it's not true. You don't want to know the things they have survived. Greatness lies in the bosom of those who have survived what others cannot survive. I don't care what you think you are going through. I, I slept on speakers and amplifier. It will never happen again forever. There were days we did not eat. There were days we trekked distances. But we did not allow what happened to us. I, there was a day I trekked from the roundabout where Chiki Republic. I passed Chiki Republic. I was hungry. I could not do anything about it. I trekked from there to aviation. What have you gone through that you think is stopping you? Some of you is complex. Just inferiority complex. Every time you want to rise, the devil keeps telling you, you know you did this, you know you are this, you know you are that. We are here tonight to call that devil a liar. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are calling that devil a liar. There are some of you that the gift God has given you is a supernatural prophetic grace. Some of you is an apostolic ability. Every time in your dreams you see the whole world. Some of you are book writers that will write on common books. The gift of a man. He said, borrow vessels. When she borrowed the vessels, she entered. He said, lock your door. There are some trainings you don't do in the open. You must close your door. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of you that like open, there are some times you need to close your door. Because what God will do in you is only him that can do alone. You will close your door. And she began to pour it. Do you know how, how many vessels? The pain it took for her to carry the vessels. While she was carrying the vessels, she said, I'm on, I'm on my way out. Never, never to be in this situation again. You are the solution to the prayer of your families. Some of you, many of them never experienced some things. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But could it be that God brought you tonight to speak to you? There are some of you who have been saying, oh, the government is not giving job. This and that. Could it be that God is trying to speak to you? I'm challenging you. Take what I'm saying seriously because we are going to pray. We will soon rise up to pray. And when it's time to pray, I want you to pray your life out. I told myself I am great. I'm great. I'm great. Joshua Selman, you are great. I speak it to myself every day. The world will hear you. You are a sign and a wonder. The anointing that is upon you is not common. Don't trivialize it. Give God thanks, but celebrate it. If it's common, go and get it in the market. Hallelujah. The gift that God has given you, Oga John. There are photographers around, but it's not common. Believe it and take it seriously. There are some of you that have all kinds of gifts. You are administrators, uncommon administrators. As young as you are, you can sit down and administrate. You didn't read this admin. Could that gift take you? There are some of you who can write proposals. There are many of you who can do a lot of things. I'm speaking to you tonight. Wake up. Call your name and say, wake up. One to go. See, prophesy it from the spirit. One more time. One to go. Yes, the Bible says, Awake thou that sleepest. That means you have been sleeping. Awake thou that sleepest. And Christ will give you life. Somebody called me and said, Josh, at, at this level of your life, what are you doing? I said, preparing for an extraordinary life. This is what I'm doing right now. This is what I do every day. When people get up and run, everybody is going for work, everybody is doing, I'm preparing for an extraordinary life. Oh, and when the master is done with me, he will present me as a masterpiece, a symbol of his wisdom and artistry. I speak to you. 
you will hear this message many years after now. When you stand and watch the world clap for you and tears stream down your face, you will tell them, this award is given to me in London, but I was trained in Zaria. And I did not despise the chastening of the Lord. Many of you, this teaching is hard on you. It's a wake-up call, but despise not the days of chastening. I bring you a word. Let the devil not lie to you. You are great. You are on your way to happen. I don't care how many times you have failed in life. When you become successful, when a woman has a miscarriage 50 times and she gives birth the 51st time, nobody will ask her how many times you had miscarriage. We don't care. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I am somebody. I am somebody. I am somebody. I had that song years ago. We went to sing in a church. And while they were singing it, they were laughing. That song entered my spirit till today. Tell yourself I am somebody. It's time to stop this false humility and start believing in what God, this is what koinonia is all about. Intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Partnership with him to shake the world. I will never, if, if I tell myself I am not great, I'm lying. It's not humility, it's foolishness. Say I am great. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. Say the world will testify that I am great. Say the world will testify that I am great. Say I will walk at it. I may cry but I will walk at it. It will cost me but I will walk at it. Understanding. You are paying the price. Some of you will be mighty women of God. As you are looking at me. You, you, God has already shown you. It does, you are, you are wondering how shall these things be like Mary? He said, thou art favored, thou, how did he even put it, that salutation? Hail Mary, mother of grace. He said, thou art favored among other women. She said, what meaneth these salutations? How shall these things be? Don't, you don't need to ask how it shall be. Let me tell you, whether you are a mother here, whether you are a father, whether you are a sister, a brother, young or old, at any level, if you can allow God to take a hold, I have found my servant David. And with my holy oil, I have anointed him. What has God given you? I'm speaking to you. What has God given you? Oh, God has given you leadership. Take it to the extreme. Let that gift make room for you. God has given you grace for ministry. Take it to the extreme. God has given you business acumen. Stand up and establish those conglomerates. Don't let no devil talk nonsense to you. Let the employment of Nigeria not threaten you. Tell yourself I will arise. I will create jobs. Thousands of jobs. You can be a lady and God is telling you. You are entering into the finance world. Don't sit down and let people call you a weaker vessel. It's time to begin to silence those demonic voices. You've never held 10,000 of your money, so what? Your gift will bring for you something your entire family did not hold. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Everybody close your eyes just in one minute before we pray. Close your eyes where you are. And just begin to meditate in one minute. I'd like you to begin to see yourself the champion that God has made you. I'd like you to begin to see yourself solving the problems of mankind. You are an ambassador. See yourself shaking away the limitation of your culture. See yourself shaking away that limitation. Who told you you cannot get there? I'm speaking to your spirit. Just close your eyes and meditate. I have found my servant David. I have a gift. I have an ability given by God. I have an ability. Men may not understand it now. Men may not understand it now. It's still in the process of refining. It's still in the process of refining. 
But when God is done with you, my sister, I tell you, although you cannot speak good English now, I am telling you, when that gift is done, you will stand near scholars and it will be an honor for them to stand with you. Yes, I know you came from the village. Yes, I know you came from the village. You've not afforded a good meal. But who told you that gift cannot take you? I'm speaking to you. Yes, you have not gotten admission. You wrote jam 20 times. But who told you that gift cannot rise up? I'm speaking to you. Yes, your wire didn't work well. Yes, you started that business and failed. But who told you that anointing is not in you? Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I don't care what has happened. Yes, it is. Who told you that that anointing, the first day you prayed for a sick person, the person was not healed. In fact, he died. But God told you you have been called to take his healing power to the nations. Do you believe it? There are many of you that are, are TV hosts. God is taking you to do mighty things. Some of you are beauticians. Some of you are mighty men and women. Joshua the high priest stood before God. And Satan was there to accuse him. And he said, Satan, is this not a reed that I've taken out of fire? The Lord rebuke you. At any level you can start. Hear me tonight. I'm speaking to you. At any level you can start. Joseph. In one night. He slept. As an ordinary slave. He woke up the next day. And his gift made room for him. Somebody's gift will make room for him. Rise up on your feet. Now, in the next five to ten minutes, please, if you want to scatter yourself around, I want you to pray. Let me tell you, if I, if I say prayer and I see some of you looking at me, I'll come and hold your hands and pray with you here. Please, if you are sleeping, wake up. We are finished. Wake up. It's time to pray. Inside and outside. There's no space for you inside. Go outside to pray. I want us to pray. The Bible says... This charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy. Many of, some of you don't know these giftings. You are going to pray and say, Lord, what did you put in me? What did you put in me? I'm tired of inferiority and complex. I'm tired of being thought out of as a second class person. What did you put in me for your glory? That's prayer point number one. Lift your voice right now and begin to pray. Come on now, Koinonia, you won't pray like this. You won't pray like this. Shekata bakata prakata bela de bokoso pata. Shekata prakata prakata bokoso pakata. Ma prakata pakata. Lord, what is that treasure? What do I have in my house? Shekete kete bokoto pada pa. Young and old, pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray. Sekete prekete ke pekete ke topo kosopata. Rekete broske pai maka prakata lekoto broske bariata a prokoto pekete pekete baraba. Make sure you are praying. Lord, what is that gift? What is the rod of God in my hand? I'm tired of trying to look like everybody. I'm tired of trying to talk like everybody. Koinonia, pray. Shekete te kosopeka. Shembreke te keposha. Rekete proskope e kotoriata. Mambro to zekete. Rekete posa. Lord, show me my uniqueness. Show me. It's a call unto me. And I will answer. I will show you. I will show you. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. Come on, Koinonia, pray. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. My father did not see it. My mother did not see it. Show me, oh God. There is a generation waiting for a revelation 
of the glory of God that is in me. Kapate prekete koto prekete. Pray, pray. You came here tonight to pray. What do you have in your house? What do you have? Where is that ability that can make you stand anywhere? That will also give you a seat among the great. Koinonia, pray. I don't like the way some of you are praying. Come on, pray. Kate Pokoto Pekete, Sekete Pokotosa, Rekete Kate Pokosopa, Rapaka Prosakaya, Maproscopedia. Contend in the spirit. Every power of darkness that wants you not to discover that gift in you, the Lord rebuke it. Pray, it will come out. It will come out. It will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Forget about where you are now. Forget about where you are today. Forget about what you don't have. Forget about what has happened. Pray. Pray. Invest into your tomorrow. Invest into your tomorrow. What is it, oh God? I call unto you. He said, call unto me. I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things. He will show you in a dream. He will show you in a vision. He will show you through prophetic confirmation. He will show you through your passion. He will show you through your desires. Reketekete prokoto balanaba, rapakata prekesa, emproto kopreke, elekete proskoparia, mapokoto prekete. Show me, oh God, show me, oh God, the gift that will end poverty in my lineage. Show me that gift that will end poverty. Show me that gift that will bring my family to greatness. Show me that gift. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. You are going to speak and say, Lord, I receive a baptism of diligence to refine and develop my gifts. Are you hearing me? Some of us hear me. Some of us, you need to reduce your time of pointless visitations going to go and meet friends and gossiping and discussing about things that have no bearing to your future are you hearing me you're going to see whether it is in the rain in the sun you're going to tell yourself i may cry i may weep i may not look fine now as i'm doing it but i'm ready hear me some of you by this prayer you will need to cut away from godless and unserious friends well, hold on i'm speaking to some of you because for some of you it is your friends and your company that are keeping you from being great your this friend thing love is a command association is not there's nobody that says you must have many friends to show you are making progress in life they may gossip about you they may misunderstand you don't worry when you become great it will settle the matter are you hearing me you are going to pray now and say, Lord, diligence. The Bible says, See thou a man diligent in his business. He shall not stand before mean men. He shall stand before kings. Lift your voice and pray. Diligence to fast. Diligence to pray. Diligence to study. Day and night. Diligence to read books. Diligence to listen to tapes. Diligence to go for workshops. Get 
Tosa, Recoto Leke Prosketia. I receive a baptism, a fresh baptism, a fresh baptism, a fresh baptism. Are you praying, Koinonia? Are you praying? Leke teke teke lebosh, leke proseke te lebosh, ma prosko seke te bosha, reke te lekosia. Pray. Say I break free from ungodly movies, ungodly associations, ungodly places for the sake of my destiny. I pay the price. I pay the price. I saw the seed. I may weep, but I saw the seed. I can't be a failure in life. Yes, you are praying your way to greatness. You are praying your way to greatness. You are praying your way to prosperity. You are praying your way to generational blessings. You are praying your way to extraordinary impact. My sister, pray, pray. Pray, pray. Haleka prosekete. Forget about your failures and pray. Forget about your failures and pray. Say, Lord, I will start again. I used to set goals before, but now I'm backsliding. I used to watch videos every day. I used to listen to DVDs, but now I'm backsliding. But tonight, tonight, a baptism, fresh grace. I won't give up. I won't give up. Come on now. Arise. Let your dreams arise. Refuse to give up. God is faithful. Refuse to give up. Go back again. Do it again. Shake it up. You are laboring in the spirit. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Last prayer point for this night. Listen. Hear me. The last prayer point. You are going to pray. We just have about two more minutes left. You are going to pray. And send dangerous prophecies. Are you hearing what I am saying? You are going to prophesy. And tell yourself that top is for me. No devil will stop me. That top is a position God has prophesied over my life from his word lift your voice and pray I'm meant for the top meant for the top meant for the top in business the top in leadership the top in music the top prophesy to yourself an extraordinary academian an extraordinary worshiper, extraordinary musician, extraordinary media giant, extraordinary business mogul, extraordinary apostle, extraordinary prophet, extraordinary evangelist. Pray! Nigeria, open up! Open up! My gift is bringing me. Abuja, open up. Lagos, open up. Port Harcourt, open up. Kano, open up. Jos, open up. London, open up. Israel, open up. China, open up. My gift is making room. Prophesy, my gift is making room. Labor market, open up. 
Nigerian labor market, open up. Your gift, your gift, gospel music industry, open up. Generals are coming. Generals are coming. Doors of ministry, open up. Miracle workers are coming. Fiery apostles are coming. Fiery prophets are coming. Nigeria, open up. Ladies of excellence are coming. Women of virtues are coming. The borders are coming. Nigeria, open up. Our ladies are coming. They are coming with the spirit of Elijah. They are coming. Entrepreneurs, business giants, business giants, billionaire philanthropists, healing ministers, miracle workers, reformers. Pray. Pray. I'm coming. I'm on my way. Nothing will stop me. Pain will not stop me. Persecution will not stop me. Criticism will not stop me. Discouragement will not stop me. Failure will not stop me. I'm on my way. There is a prophecy. There is a prophecy. I wore a good warfare. One more minute, prophesy. My gift is making room. It's making room. Jesus, the truth. There were many things. I didn't see many successful people in my life growing up. Those who were successful were very far from me. Culturally speaking, societally speaking, there was a mindset that was communicated. But when I began to search the word goodness, I found another report. A report I was not born with. And all of a sudden, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me. You know, today we took a stroll, um, myself and the head of protocol, after we went to greet a bereaved family, we went somewhere and I was taking them inside the campus and I decided to take a tour of the new structures they are building. And while I started passing some sites around the dam and down my eyes were almost, I was trying to fight tears. Do you know why? Because I saw locations where years ago I sat down to study the truth. I passed one place, a botanical garden on your way to the dam. I used to enter that corner and smuggle myself through somewhere and sit down. Broke, but had access to the truth. A failure and a mediocre, but had access to the truth. And this Bible, God gave me an assurance with the word. If you believe me, I will not play games with you. And I was stupid enough to believe. I said, Lord... After all, by default, I don't even have much. So if I don't believe you, I don't have any option. Ah! Look what is made in my life. Listen, if you choose to believe the truth, he will change you. They've lied to you that your life is not doing well just because um, there is... There is, uh, there is something you are not, you know, you need to go and connect to this. You need to do that. I believe in favor. But favor is only when it comes from God to men, not from men. If you don't give 150,000 to so, so, so person in federal ministry of this, you will never get a job. That's how we do it. You are not part of the we. And you find out. And the Bible says, that when a man's ways pleases the Lord, that's the truth. That he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Are we together? Listen, the part of scripture you find and believe is the part that works for you. Yes. You can see two people operating on different dimensions of realities. Is the part you find. I have found from this word 
listen and I don't want you to be offended by what I'm saying but I found from this word that it is possible for a man to fulfill his days I found it I used to fear death I think it's one of the things we all fear because the teaching I got about death was that any day can meet you anytime and it looked like a very sincere talk until I searched I said God but how can I live my entire life being afraid I'm going to live a life traveling all the time right I'm in the air I'm on road in the morning in the afternoon there are armed robbers weather conditions what is the guarantee that I'm going I mean I can't live my life I'm going for a crusade somewhere and I'm afraid I want to go and heal the sick cast out demons but me the man of God that God will use you are now afraid whether you arrive safely as soon as you arrive your heart returns back and you're like, hey, thank you Jesus what is torturous way of living but there is a truth ha ah. There is something you can hold and dear death you look at it in the face and say oh death where is thy sting now you see until you have caught that truth don't make mouth this is the problem we talk nonsense in church and say all kinds of things and become victims it is the encounter of the burning bush that qualifies you to stand before pharaoh when you have seen the burning bush you can stand before pharaoh and say hey pharaoh stop oppressing god's people because Pharaoh will not let you go just because you can speak English. Jesus, the truth. Let me tell you something. Life will dare you to your face. It will take the truth to build a world of fortification. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I believe the word of God. That's why we are gathered here tonight. This is called a miracle service. There is no guarantee anywhere that anybody will be healed. There is no guarantee anywhere that devils will be casted out. Let me tell you, without understanding the truth, any action you take is arrogance. You make a fool out of yourself. What is the guarantee that in the next few minutes, the Lord is going to step in and begin to produce miracles in the lives of people? Is the truth. As at morning, when they were fixing this place, what was the guarantee that people were going to come and all the seats will be filled? What was the guarantee that people will be following us from over 45 nations of the world is the truth there is an information you know the power of god that i believe you oh god and i'm ready to follow you will not lie to me i believe you you are not a man that you should lie not the son of man i don't doubt him i believe you my experiences notwithstanding i still believe you Number three, Jesus, the life. Hmm. A revelation of his power and his ability to make a life. Jesus, the life. John 11 verse 25 to 26. An event happened there, Lazarus was a man who had died three days and then Jesus said he sleepeth and they were going to go and resurrect him and when they went they saw his sisters crying now this was talking about physical death but it applies to every area watch this death does not just mean cessation of breathing it means cessation of life many of us are experiencing death in different areas of our lives when an organ fails that's death are we together the sons of the prophet were eating a meal and they looked and said ah there is death in this food and jesus said to her i am what what is resurrection bringing back to life something that is not supposed to have life again hallelujah that for me is the definition of hope 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 bringing back to life a dream that should not come alive again bringing back to life a destiny that should not come alive i live my life drinking and smoking is there hope for me jesus is called the resurrection i should have done well with my life but i'm 70 years now how many more years do i have when the resurrection comes he can bring back to life are we together 
I should have been a PhD holder now. But so, so, so and so happened to me when the resurrection comes. Listen to me. Jesus has the power to make things that are dead in our lives come alive. This is good news. Are we together? So the Bible says, rejoice not over me, my enemies. You know my fall, but you have forgotten that there is a mystery of resurrection. Rejoice not over me. Yes, I know for now I do not have a job. I lost my job. Yes, I know that this and that may have happened in my life. But there is Jesus the life. He can put life back. He can put life back. Let me show you something the Bible says. Very interesting. Well, let's finish it. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, although his kidney were dead, he can come alive. He that believeth on me, although his finances were dead, he can come alive. Do you know that hopelessness is, is one of the major causes of depression in our society? You know what hopelessness is? A perception that there is no press to anything that is worth producing any result again and people just give up society is full of angry people who just walk around and say look there's no hope no hope for this child no hope for this no hope for me again no i'm already past menopause no child let me just agree that i will never have a child in my life listen to what the bible says Job chapter 14, please give it to us, 7 to 9. Job chapter 14. Read it with me, please. One to read. For there is hope for a tree. For there is hope for Joshua Selman. For there is hope for any life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? For there is hope in spite of that medical report. Humanly speaking, you should put your house in order. Ask Hezekiah. When a true prophet came and said, Hezekiah, I've heard from God. When a man hears from God, who else do you consult? But Hezekiah said, no way. I know this mystery. There is resurrection. There is life. There is hope. He turned his face and said, God, let's talk. I know Isaiah is your prophet, but I'm your child too. Let's talk. Remember now. Come on, God. Don't act as if you ignore me like that. And God said, ah, 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 ah. He has compelled a dimension listen let me tell you tonight you have to insist for some things to come back to life don't go some of you don't even pray over some things again because in your mind you have concluded it's over that business will never come alive let you just give glory to god it's over it has gone that destiny will never come alive but it's okay i already know that i would never walk again my leg can not walk so my focus now is to just succeed I am the resurrection and the life. It says, for there is hope for a tree. If it be what? Cut down. I like that word. Cut down, not rooted out. Cut down means the root is still connected. The mistake the enemy made was to still leave you loving God. I, I, I know you lost, you lost joy, you lost peace. You made a mistake. I know you now have a baby it should not be but the mistake was that you were cut down not rooted out and the bible says that it will what sprout again talk to me agriculturists that you know that you can cut a tree and children can even put satellite dish on the tree yet it still starts growing have you seen a tree that they use for pole wire it doesn't stop the tree from growing I hear the joy coming. Hey, I hear the breakthrough coming. I hear the sound coming. Sound of abundance and joy. I see the lifting coming. Hey. Hold on. Listen. I tell you that the, the anointing of God is strong upon me. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Give us that scripture again. Give us that scripture. Because God wants to make a statement with this miracle service tonight. He says, for there is hope. Everybody say there is hope. 
let the devil hear you let all the people who have sat down together in a meeting and said will she ever rise with this carryover with 11 carryovers will you ever rise the bible says there is hope for a tree there is hope for a tree it says that it will sprout again and that the tender branch will not cease we're reading to verse 9 though the root thereof be wax old in the earth and the stock thereof die in the ground verse 9 yet kabaratos kebranda katashiata hold on it didn't say through the arrival of water the scent proximity to life proximity to life the moment you come into a place where there is life it has not touched you yet your roots resonating with life listen listen those of you who have done physics there's something they call resonance is that true that when you use a tuning fork and hit at a frequency every other object within that frequency answers to it you were designed by the life-giving spirit so when satan tries to bring death and then you are seated somewhere you come into an environment where there's life deep starts calling on to deep your dream starts telling you i'm ready to come back to life forget the fact that i failed rejoice not over me my enemy we live in a society who are experts at burying people before they die ah look at this mama nine children all useless and she's coming for koinonia and they say keep going mama tonight the resurrection and the life the resurrection and the life hear me how about a man of god you know god called you you know he anointed you but truly you have not seen increase not in your life oh god well will the anointing come or maybe you were once anointed and something happened in your life and things went down and listen it is true that jesus died but did he die forever he died only for three days while he had resurrected men were still talking about his death could it be hold on could it be that some of you while you are in this meeting now other people are talking about your past life they don't know resurrection is happening they are still sitting discussing yesterday so every time they look at her they say i know this lady oh this lady is the most nonsense lady in our environment you were right but ask rahab shabbatos kotapriata hmm. listen do you know why god instructed that they killed everybody in jericho he did not want anyone who knew Rahab's past to be part of those who follow her because she would be part of the lineage of Jesus. Listen, when God wants to make nonsense of Satan, he will keep quiet and allow men finish tearing you down. Sometimes you can even join them and tear yourself. And then when he's done, he says, let me now show you the expertise. Let me show you what makes me God. And he starts building. Many people conclude on men because they don't know God. This God we serve. Are we together? I always use promises. Promise, come, 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 come. With all my heart, you would have concluded this guy was a capon in black acts. Are we together? Years ago with dreadlocks he came to zaria with dreadlocks and earrings he was an occultist of the highest order a territorial commander he ran away because they were about to imprison him but brothers and sisters rejoice not over me my enemy no 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 help them under the anointing please you would have concluded that this brother will never become a because our big mouth in society we are experts at talking about people but while they were talking about Saul God was seeing Paul ah. apostle but I don't even know who my father is I'm not sure they told me that fair woman is my mother that's the kind of background I came from don't worry the God of Israel is an expert look at his life now a fiery man of God 
with grace and power and anointing hallelujah they had concluded on Zacchaeus you are a thief you are a fraudster you are an armed robber and when God was going he had to climb the tree and God said come down Zacchaeus it's your house I'm going let me show you that I'm, I'm going to your house and at once Zacchaeus said I will repay everybody and Zacchaeus completely changed hear me I came to preach to someone tonight there is a dimension of Jesus called Jesus the life the life the life Jesus the life Jesus the life Jesus the life, Jesus the life. That everything that has died in a man's life can come alive. Even time can come alive. That's the God that we serve. Hear me. You have come tonight, some of us from far. Some of us from several things. And you have come to encounter Jesus, the life. The life-giving spirit. He can put life back to your finances and the money you lost 10 years combined in one month can return to you listen 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 please let's not make this thing look as if we are acting we're talking about God here apostle but this is 10 years no child and they told me that there are all kinds of cyst and growth in my stomach and then when the resurrection comes he all of a sudden first child triplets second child twins you say god stop he says stop what my name again that child one three two one registers his name the years that the canker worm has eaten hear me hear me mordecai Mordecai did something that was good and he was his testimony was archived in a book and dropped quietly you see ba there is a day God gets angry and vows by his name I have seen this truly speaking that God vows a vow read it through scripture that he wants to lift a man when God vows a vow to lift a man I tell you not even your personal faith will stop you there is such a thing that God can say the appointed time is come I've seen people lifted overnight and frankly speaking sometimes they've not even understood certain principles God just vowed with his name tonight I want your faith to be please look listen you have come before God this is not a cinema to watch film you have come with your heart open i want you to insist tonight all these three dimensions are dimensions that for a taking but i perceive that one of the greatest dimensions we need is life there is too much death there is too much death in people's life dead organs hold on listen there are people here they can't walk 10 minutes a young man 25 35 you walk 10 minutes you breathe as if you would die they go to the hospital and say mr man almost everything we see is wrong you need life oh you need life there are many ladies here with all kinds of lumps all kinds of demonic things satan attempting to put another life because there are many kinds of life but when his life comes when his life comes there are destinies you look at them like walking corpses you know everything is there no favor no open doors there are many men here you are hard working but there is no life you are just a body walking sweating toiling the cause of hardship from morning till night living from hand to mouth the key is not promotion the key is life life To draw from you again. Hey, hey. To drink from you again. Hey, hey, hey. To drink from you again. Hey, hey. We've come 
to the Lord. We've come to the Lord. The Lord. The Lord. Come from you again. Come from you again. the same tonight I insist lift your voice and pray Lord I can't go back the way I came I place a demand a demand on your anointing a demand on your anointing Prayer point number two Change my level, oh God Change the dimensions Take me to another level attention praise the Lord hallelujah there's a lot to do tonight we're going to do it in this order I'm going to take the altar call now and then tonight we're going to start with the sick I just sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing hallelujah now quickly let me have your attention my God the power of God is so strong so strong I already see activities of angels you are in this place inside outside any of the overflows one two three four by the roadside i told you that the cure for the challenges of men is an encounter with jesus and there are people here some of you may be visiting for the first time but you know that you need jesus genuinely not just as a religious philosophy you truly need jesus christ some of you at one point you handed your life over to him but things went haywire and right now you know that you need to run like there's fire on the mountain overflow one overflow two i'm going to count one to five please clear the way for them i want you to run as though you are thirsty and they told you where water is leave your seat right now and run whether you are inside or outside i'll count one to five keep standing one koinonia celebrate them Two. 
school are you running run to Jesus Lord I'm tired of my life tired of the way things have been I can't pretend it I'm running to you now three celebrate them are you running leave your seat break your pride and run I need Jesus in my life I need Jesus in my life this is a, a matter of urgency this is no pretense this is no church I need Jesus in my life have you decided to follow Jesus no turning back run no turning back have you decided to follow Jesus no turning back no in overflow three there and the Holy Spirit is telling me they are supposed to be part of these people overflow three please quickly there's so much to do there are three people I'm seeing in overflow three outside and the Lord is telling me they should be there don't allow your friends stop you I'm still going to give one more minute one more minute as the Holy Spirit is convicting you you're saying I want to come but I'm a bit shy Run, make your way quickly. Come and join us. Come and join us. Hallelujah. Look at me. Please let them come and join. Those of you in front, please look at me. I salute you. This is serious business here. Please, there's, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Hold on. Hold on. Now, you see, when most people give their lives to Christ, they come in emotionally and some are not even serious they come laughing pinching themselves lord jesus and they are laughing and not serious this jesus business is life we're not talking about a certificate we're not talking about a husband or wife the bible says the name of the lord is a strong tower please hear me as you are here make sure that your decision is genuine no one condemns you but i want you to mean it Please, don't, don't play games with God. This is the God of heaven. I want you to say this from the depth of your heart. All of you in front here and those joining quickly. If you are joining them, make your way to the front. Say this passionately and truly. Say, Lord Jesus. Say it again, Lord Jesus. Some of you are not saying it. Say it one more time, Lord Jesus. I believe in you that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you shed your blood for my sin I believe that you resurrected for me this night I have heard your word and I declare that I need you in my life I hand over my life to you from now and forever I receive eternal life into my spirit I declare that from today I am a child of God Satan you had my confession stay away from my life forever in the name of Jesus let me pray for you now Jesus we present to you the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and they were worth your blood your tears and your death i ask oh god by the power of your spirit that you preserve them let this not be an emotional decision i pray sincerely that today will become the beginning 
of a new season of your grace your power your mercy upon their lives i declare your sins forgiven i declare and declare that from today you walk in newness of life i set you free from everything that holds you down in the name of jesus christ amen and amen i congratulate all of you for making this most noble decision never forget this day never forget this day hallelujah praise god now i will ask you to do something very quickly and then you come back and join the service i want you to follow who is waving his hands follow that gentleman waving his hands and they will lead you out and there are a number of people who will welcome you have your details please cooperate with them and uh, all the people attending to them let's make it fast so that they can return back please politely follow them they'll ask for your details cooperate with them everyone this way let's honor them as they go very quickly hallelujah can we help them let's make it fast now we're going to do it this way um I'm going to start praying for the sick right right away we're going to pray for the sick now so that we can take out time um, let's deal with the sick first I already sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing lady look at me the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands I command that devil let her go now you had her confession I curse you by the God of heaven I released you now I'm seeing this lady tied snakes from her leg to her head I set you free this is koinonia the place of encounter I decree and declare that from today you are set free and there's something I'm seeing in your stomach I decree and declare that it leaves you right now in the name of Jesus Christ now we're going to pray uh, there are certain cases I want to deal with by myself tonight um, any case please listen any case whether you are in any of the overflows please i will pray for people overflow one i want you to march to your overflow those who are trusting god you came here with for yourself or for your loved ones um but let's do it this way all those who are trusting god for the fruit of the womb if you have an issue with barrenness or a blood related disease hiv cancer or any deadly disease whether you are in the overflow outside or what please come in and i want to minister to you myself hallelujah that doesn't mean please listen listen it doesn't mean if i'm not the one ministering to you you will not be blessed the anointing on me is upon everyone who will be standing to minister to you are we together now so let's not have a rowdy um uh, crowd there so overflow one i like all of you who are trusting god to be prayed for Please, I want you to move to your projector stands, overflow two, um, overflow three. Those online connect by faith and um, we are going to be praying for you. Those inside, make your way very quickly. The special cases that I ask, make your way quickly, quickly, please. We have to be very fast. There's a lot to do. The reason why we take our time to minister to people like this is because God has anointed us for this reason. Hallelujah. God has anointed us. It's a privilege to carry his anointing and we must take our time to release blessings to God's people. Make your way quickly. Look how many people need the touch of God. What a joy and a blessing to have the anointing and the ability to touch people. Can we all pray as a family whilst they are coming and ask the Lord to touch and heal and bless everyone. Lift your voice and pray. Everyone, lift your voice. Lift your voice, pray. It's a miracle service. Please, those that are coming in from outside, make sure it's only blood related diseases, terminal diseases, terminal diseases. Otherwise, you can just wait at your projector stand and then they'll pray for you. Father, you have anointed. You have anointed us in this place you have anointed this house to be a tabernacle of miracles lord you have produced untold testimonies is a privilege to be extensions of your hand again ministering to the needs of your people it is your desire that in every territory there must be a place 
where men and women can find the power of God at work. And Lord, thank you for making this such a place. Tonight we pray that there will be abundance, abundance of your anointing in the name of Jesus. Tonight is serious business. I really perceive that there is need to minister to people. We are going to have um, some of our leaders stationed in various places. Please, I want you to trust the anointing upon them as they come to minister. I'm going to just make contact with them. Um, there will at least be two, two at different, different points and then we are going to pray praise the lord we'll make it very very fast and trust god to minister to you please come um pastor femi Ejimi, pastor alpha west benga promise how many of you i think we need eight people i have to lay hands on you because i sense that we need we need a, a great one two three four five uh, michael come one of these days we'll begin to train other people and help the, the idea is to help and build people um, Mike leave the keyboard um, someone else can play the keyboard you can come this is an opportunity we're going to lay hands and then we're going to trust God um, Shade will you be strong come she's always had the healing anointing you have the strength please come this lady you see it's a compendium of the healing power of God and um, so we're going to pray I think this is okay we're going to pray please those outside if if they don't ask you uh, if they are prophesying to you it's a different thing if they are giving you a word of knowledge is all right otherwise you don't have to start talking talking and doing all of this Lord we agree right now in Jesus name my God there's such anointing on my hands as they lay hands on the people Lord I decree and declare let your power flow in such dimension in such magnitude in the name of Jesus Christ let the anointing of the Holy Spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit let the fire of God come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that you will carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit um, Shade and promise will go to the overflow outside here by the road Shade and promise Benga and um, Femi this overflow and then Mike and Pastor Alpha will be at the overflow, overflow three now. Um, Ejimi will be with me here. Pastor Alpha. Um, huh? Okay, two of you are there. Okay, fine. Who is left? Michael. Okay, they join them outside this overflow here. And then we'll walk with Ejimi inside here. Praise the Lord. Lord, we decree and declare, let there be miracles right now. Let there be signs, let there be wonders. In the name of Jesus, let there be such a strong move of the Spirit. Let the sick be healed. While this is happening, please, um, I want you, if you need to make calls and ask your loved ones to submit their prayer requests, let's do that very quickly. We're trying to conserve time as well as maximize the grace that is available. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we we'll pray for you now. I want you to trust God for miracles. Trust God for miracles. Insist that God must give you a miracle. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit gentle touch is flowing Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ I believe Jesus there is healing in your name as we worship as we worship in your presence there is healing the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, gentle time is flowing. It's flowing. Jesus, Jesus, I believe. I believe. Jesus, Jesus, there is healing in your name. There is healing in your name. Worship in 
healing in your name. There is healing in your name. destiny that will go back with you please believe this night there are strange spirits that are responsible for the sufferings you see this dear lady this lady came all the way from lagos had to resign her job to come here because she was tired of what was happening in her life it's not just about employment came here this lady came i think it was last week all the way because she was nothing at all she was employed but oppression after oppression There's somebody in the congregation. I'm, I'm seeing like uh, the Lord is opening my eyes. This is strange. And I don't know what it is that I'm seeing that has to do with elephants. I'm seeing an elephant. And I'm seeing like fire coming. This is a deliverance for someone in the congregation now as I'm talking. Um, I'm praying for the sick, but we're going to minister to other needs. But right now, the Lord is asking me to minister to such a person. So I'm declaring right now that every manipulation of spirits that resonates with what the Lord showed me right now from here I decree and declare there is no peace for the wicked I command judgment right now in the name of Jesus Christ on such a person wherever you are in this congregation I decree and declare right now that the power of God touches you right where you are right where you are right where you are in the name of Jesus right where you are right where you are in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone at the minister's stand the minister's stand I'm seeing something like an arrow shooting out of your body Lord in the name of Jesus whoever that person is it must go now I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit every strange devil every strange spirit we decree and declare that this environment is completely not conducive completely not conducive in the name of Jesus I want you to look at this look at look at what look at what the devil can do 
This is a human being's face. Mama, come. Madam, is this her mother? Mommy, come. How long has this been? This is one year now. A year one plus. Year. A year plus, yes. Her face just started swelling. It started bleeding from the nose. And before you know, it's her, one of her, this her eyes. I out. prayed for her the last time. Yes. You see it going down? Yes, I see it you going You see it from the last time? Yes. Who was there when you saw yes. the last time? It's going down. You see it going down now? Yes. I prophesy that in the name of Jesus Christ, right now, that the way this thing has started going down, it must go down normally. And hear me. Mama, any human agent that is responsible for this thing happening, are we together? If I am a man of God, that person must die this night. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because I'm looking at you. Hold on. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the face of a woman. And I'm seeing a woman sitting on the ground. On ground like enchantment. I say it again. Whoever is responsible for terminating, attempting to terminate the destiny of this lady by the God of heaven, may the ground open and swallow her now. God bless you. See, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Wickedness is very, very real. Very real. Very, very real. Very, very real. I want you to lift your voice in one minute and say, Father, judgment tonight. Pray! Lift your voice. Shabakato soto bakata. Lembrekete katatatata. Reketo shepekeriata. Everything that must give way for the next level of my destiny to be open, I command it so. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, pray inside, pray outside. Pray by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Pray. Shaka toko 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 kes. Rekete kete kata bara 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 bas. Mata kato shepre kete. Lente pre kete basha bara 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 bas. Leke kata pros kata bara nda kapras kata bara tosh. Are you praying? Make sure you are praying. Let her go now. Out! 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 I see the rain of your love. I feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. I see the rain of your love I feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear So let it rain Let it rain Open the floor gates of heaven Hallelujah We're really going to pray seriously right now. Um, I've been seeing a lot of visions while praying for the sick. Hallelujah. There are, there are many, many demons that must go. Many, not few. Many. Oppressed. All kinds of um, strange, strange demons. Bring this girl. Come. Bring her. I'm seeing a spirit. Bring her. Let her go now. Victory belongs to Jesus. Listen, hear me. Now, we are going to pray serious. That's why I took out time to maximize the healing anointing because um, we want to finish fast. We have leaders meeting. However, um, now that we have dropped this, please just focus. You have prayed now. Let me minister to you. Praise God. Stand up, please, everybody. We have to pray. These are the wicked spirits that are responsible for families families tonight i see an uprooting i tell you listen 
I want you to stand because I'm seeing people running out now by the spirit not like wanting to run away the spirit is running with them that's why I'm saying I'm, I'm asking the people to stand we are going to pray please listen I want you to believe the forces that tie your life tie your destiny it's time for us to pray it's time for us to agree are we together I want you to cooperate with me and let's pray they are strange spirits you will bring them out some don't be embarrassed this this has to do with families this has to do with individuals are we together now are we together yes we are going to pray I'm seeing like a Ghana must go and I'm seeing it tied in the spirit whose destiny is that oh God it's time to be loose now bring them out please I need strings strings of the flowing sound please bring them out shake it take it up braka doso toba shata at his word every demon every devil there's no hiding place for any power of darkness i decree and i declare in the name of jesus hallelujah please hold your hands together i want to pray a prayer you are going to help your neighbor now something strange is going to happen to people i want to pray because i'm seeing like fire passing from people to people this, this contact must be maximum. Lord, I pray anyone who is a victim of any oppression as this fire passes now in the name of Jesus. Once you see your neighbor manifesting, please let them come. In the name of Jesus, I release that fire right now from road to road, from people to people, from road to road, inside, outside. I command every stranger Every stranger, soketa kata kata. Every stranger, in the name of Jesus. Every stranger, outside, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, online. I cast that devil right now. That fire is burning. That fire is burning. Every principality, every power. Outside, mighty deliverances. Outside, from road to road, the power of God is setting people free. It's time for yokes of captivity to give way. It's time for age long captivities to give way. Haroto Sose Sesia Tata. Rakatos Kabaria Dabala Kotoshubia. Hallelujah. Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Say in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of delay over my life, over my family, be judged now. Now watch what happens to you. I decree and declare. Anyone with such yoke, I command judgment now. Judgment now, now on those forces. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Please lift your hands. Shabaratos Kotosh. Tonight I trust God for an extensive time of deliverance. Listen, the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing snakes. This is what I'm seeing coming out from holes. Anyone here tied by any spirit, they come to you in the night to sleep with you. Fire at the count of three. One, two, three. Right now, visitors of the night, strangers of men's destinies, I judge you by the God of heaven. Inside and outside, I judge you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. 
please put your hands sisters lift your hands sisters lift your hands sisters lift your hands I want to pray a very serious prayer right now sisters lift your hands if there is anyone here having any spirit molest you in dreams appearing as men appearing as women appearing as animals at the count of three as you shout Jesus Jesus the life is destroying any death are you ready one two three I command those devils those strangers strangers powers of witchcraft molesting people the daughters of Zion I curse you I curse your covenant Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Say Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Hallelujah I saw what I'm seeing now in much miracle service and the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands I'm seeing padlocks that's what I'm seeing this is representing men's destinies nothing is happening in your life you are not lazy but doors have refused to open right now at the count of three I want everyone to shout Jesus as loud as you can some of you will literally be caught up in visions and you will see the doors of your destinies open Right now, oh God, I declare that every padlock over any man's destiny, over any man's life, at the count of three, they are open. One, two, three. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Destiny. Open up. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to take away the spirit of death over families. Listen. You may not even know, but I want you to believe. I want to pray for you. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. I'm speaking now. Death is a spirit. Oh, death, where is your sting? Right now. I'm seeing at least 47. I'm seeing the number 47. Every family with death hanging over them. Fire! 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 Upon every family. Fire! Fire! Fire. The spirit of death broken. Hallelujah. Can I pass through the crowd for a moment? I want God to do a quick walk. Please listen. I don't do these things out of religion. It is the presence of God. The presence of God. I don't have time and there's no opportunity to lay hands on anyone. But listen. I just come across your role. I just want you to believe. Listen, except it is not the spirit of God, but any other strange spirit aside from God, regardless of what it is and what is causing in your life, it must give way right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, just play me. Father, in the name of Jesus. Listen, please, I want you to believe. This is not about human washing. But as I pass your role, I'm seeing fire on my left and right. Tonight is the ministry of fire. 
and like a wildfire it will pass you and begin to consume things some of you as i pass that physical fire that heat lord let it be right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ rakoto shoprekete barato kosia rakato toto ketata rakato shabariakata take it here that fire fire judging everything judging every evil from every row row to row row to row row to row that fire right now every witchcraft every power every witchcraft every power tying anyone someone's womb is being loose now someone's womb is being loose someone's womb is being loose in the name of jesus christ can i go out is it is it possible those outside lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray Hallelujah. Please, quickly, we're out of time. We have to conserve time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, all of you right here, through this place, I'm looking and I'm seeing change in the spirit. And as I pass this overflow, please, I want you to believe that every captivity must come to end. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It must come to end. Father, I give you all the praise right now. Right now. A chain is leaving somebody here. A chain, a chain, a chain, a chain. Go, go, go. Now, 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 now. Chains, 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 chains. I break it now. Break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it. In the name of Jesus. You don't have to touch me. Just be. There's somebody here. The yoke of delay is breaking now, now. Now, now it's breaking now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking now, break now, breaking now, breaking now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, breaking now in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing a cloud in this place. I release that fire. Breaking now, right, right, right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, help them, help them, please hold them. Elisha, 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 who is that, Elisha, where are you coming from, maybe you, sir. maybe you, maybe you here, yes. I want to pray for you, the Lord wants to give you and your family breakthrough, yes. Elisha, I wish we had time, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm declaring. What's your name? My daddy's name is Elisha. Your daddy's name is Elisha. That's all right. I'll pray for you. Why are you here? You are Elisha. Look at me. I want you to believe in the prayer I'm going to pray for you. God is going to give you strength in your peace. Amen. I'm seeing like a shrine on fire. Hold on. 
I'm seeing like a shrine on fire. And that fire in that shrine will manifest physically over somebody's life. It's time for this family to be set free. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. It's time to be set free. It's time to be set free. Elisha, I pray for you. Now hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare something is leaving you now. As I'm holding your hands, I'm seeing something leaving you. Let it go for you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your dad needs breakthrough. I decree and declare. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. Please, if we can get some of the people outside, make sure everyone is protected under the canopy. Otherwise, let's see how we can squeeze some of them inside. Even if it's just for the sake of... Um, when the rain minimizes, they can go out. Please, make sure nobody is standing in the rain. Those standing at the edges of the canopies, we can allow them to come in. Just come and squeeze them somewhere, please. Make sure, no, especially women with children. Please. Please, make sure that we allow them. Please. They can come just stand anywhere the goal is us please just give them room just orderly they can come in and stand anywhere recurrent issues the lord is addressing them now our time is gone but i'm praying recurrent issues the power of god is going to fall on people now i don't know how those outside will do but i pray for grace for them but I'm seeing a grace to destroy recurrent issues. Issues that come, you solve them and they come back again. Where are those people? I stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus. That fire is visiting them now. Recurrent issues. The Lord is setting people free right now. Recurrent issues. Please help this, this woman. Recurrent issues. That devil is going right now. In the name of Jesus. Recurrent issues recurrent issues never again in the name of Jesus never again by the power of the Holy Ghost please I know it's raining but participate God is touching people I'm seeing it again recurrent issues issues that come and you think you are done with and they return back I decree and declare that fire is coming now that fire is coming now recurrent issues in the name of Jesus be set free right now. Be set free right now. Be set free right now. Hallelujah. Toy. Toy. What's your name? My son is still. Toy. I will pray for you. I'm seeing serious witchcraft in this lady's family. This is this is heavy satanic oppression. Huh? Heavy satanic oppression. All of you are toy. What's your name? My auntie. Who? My auntie's name is Toy. I will pray for you. Please make sure you are toying. Don't come out carelessly, but hold my hands. I will pray for you. I will use you as a point of contact to pray for your family. Hold my hands with both of your hands. Your family must be free from witchcraft. Lord Jesus. Ah. Fire. Fire. On every altar. Fire. On every altar of witchcraft. I command I use as a point of contact and pray for every family under the yoke of darkness under the yoke of bondage I command your emancipation now I command your emancipation 
every family under the yoke of darkness Are you doing? Huh? You have bad luck. Bad luck on your life. Very bad luck. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Lord Jesus, this is a miracle service. Set this lady free. This yoke of bad luck. I decree and declare that it must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It must leave you right now. Your sister. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. The same way God is touching her, may God touch you too. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, you are doing? My auntie. Where is she? What is this for? This is my family. My mom left my dad some couple of years ago and became a Hold the photo. You believe that when I pray for you, God will touch them. Lord, visit this family right now. In the name of Jesus, I release the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, through you, let it touch your family. Please don't come out carelessly. Don't come out. Why, why is she out? Why are you out, my dear? Huh? My sister is there. Okay, I will lay my hands on you. Be free of your mother, your mother. Something is leaving your mother. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus, Kai, what is this? Look at, I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a snake. I'm seeing a snake. I'm seeing a snake. Please, just thank God it's raining. If you are inside, don't complain. Those outside are enduring the rain. Just keep quiet and allow God to visit you. Snakes. I saw a snake from this lady and I'm still seeing snakes around. There's no hiding place for darkness. I'm seeing snakes. Lord, let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances. In the name of Jesus, inside and outside, let there be deliverances. In the name of Jesus, let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances by the power of the Holy Ghost. This lady, come. This one with the Lord. Come. God is going to use you mightily. Lift your hands. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a, a lady that God is going to use mightily. That doesn't mean after service you come and start disturbing her. God is going to use you. Father, let that grace, that fire, this lady is going to be mightily used of God. I decree and declare, I don't know you, but I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you must be free. I declare, don't worry, deliver. In the name of Jesus Christ, every access given to you by darkness, I close it now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I close it now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I close it right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I close it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I release that fire and that power. There is no hiding for any darkness. Release every breakthrough. Release every destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. I'm hearing Maimuna. 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 I don't know if he's here or outside or someone. Your love. Maimuna. Huh? Is what? Your step. Okay. Maimuna. I'm seeing something else. I will pray for you. Memuna. The Lord is showing me something else. Your name is Memuna. My younger sister. My youngest. Okay. 
I lay my hands on you. Look at me. You are not progressing. Hold my hands. The Lord wants to move you forward. This is not even in the name of Jesus. I release you to move forward right now. I command that you move forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord gives you visitations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Ah, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. I lose you to prosper and I lose your family to prosper. You came out to stand for someone, but you are the one God is giving the visitation. I decree and declare it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. You won't believe what I'm about to pray for. I'm seeing written in the air forgetfulness. There is a strange spirit that comes upon men and causes them to forget things. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are here, whether it is memory loss or strange forgetfulness, the things you should do, you forget them and you pay the price. Wherever you are, I release you from it right now. I release you from it right now. I release you right to the back, outside, all the overflows. Anyone who has that manifestation in their lives, I release them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. I release them right now. I release them from it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. Why is he here? Why are you here, sir? Uh, my cousin. Is what? My cousin. We were here last week, but he didn't come today. Your what? My cousin, Tony. Tony. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God touch them. Whatever their issues are, I declare that God will resolve it right now. In Jesus' name. I'm seeing somebody I need to pray for. Physical money disappears sometimes from your pocket sometimes from your bag i'm not talking of stealing listen to what i'm saying don't just come out carelessly Physic money you can hold money like this and count it and see that it is less it has disappeared who is that i need to pray for you it's a very serious issue yeah na 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 you hallelujah Kai, the Lord is showing me something very serious. There's somebody, um, don't be embarrassed. You woke up physically in the middle of the night. And now I'm not saying you idolize animals, but there was a rat, a physical rat, not running around. You were looking at it, it was looking at you like this. There's someone like that here. Rat, it was looking at you. You were, wave your hands, let me know you are the one I'm talking to. Come out, come and stand here. I'm not saying if you have rats in your rooms, that's not what I'm this. This is a special, unique, demonic case. Come. Kai. This lady, I have to pray for you. Favor, zero. Breakthrough, zero. Trouble, 100%. Father, in the name of Jesus, change this face I'm seeing. Jakatos koprakato zakato liakata bakanda pratisia. Lekos kapranda gada suze breke tekatos in the name of Jesus zekata tata suzia mante pros kata prande katoli akata shakas kende kos akras kate zeketons kamatan zekata reketo sekete kete kete bakata mam prato soto bereketi riakata shase se 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 kata mam prato soto topaka embriata sada siata. Shakel kata mas kata baria kato, embre kete 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 kete, rekos koso so pe kete de kata, me priata sise koto so baria kata. Break the chains, break the chains, break the chains, break the chains in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is somebody, your grandmother appears to you. Your grandmother appears to you. Where is that person? Come. Don't be embarrassed. This is a serious issue. Our time is gone, but thank God it's raining. 
We are going to round up. Your grandmother, you see your grandmother. She appears. Who is that? Wave your hands. Come and stand here. It's a very demonic thing. Your grandmother appears to you. Come and stand. Grandmother appears to you. Who is that? Wave your hands. Let me know you are here. All of you that see your grandmother, come and stand here. We have to break you from that demonic thing. What fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness? This Lagos lady, God is on your case because you need to be thoroughly, thoroughly delivered. There is a spirit that is oppressing you and there's no hiding place. You hallucinate. This lady literally sees things. She can be here physically. It's, you know what they call astral travel? She can live, not vision, live physically. This lady, I command that wicked spirit in the name of Jesus. And whatever she sees about you, except you are powerful, it must happen. It's a spirit. She doesn't even know why. In the name of Jesus, I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a cat. I curse you by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Please don't be tired. I know our time is gone, but it's raining. Let, let, let's just visit these things because... Come, you are a beautiful girl, but no favor in your life. Shift, let me talk to this, this yellow girl. Come, run. God wants to wipe your tears. Ah, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing something like a crown on your head. Come, you must be delivered thoroughly. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let this cause of disfavor. This is a beautiful girl, but there's no favor in her life. Shato Soto Bakata. Randa Koto Soto Kete Barakata. I decree and declare every legal access of darkness I curse it right now I curse it right now I open the doors I open the doors from the realm of the spirit let there be favor over your life in Jesus name hold on sir I need to pray for you this encounters supposed encounters has retrogressed your life I hear what I'm saying I have to pray for you because you are not supposed to be at this level right now you too you see your grandmother where are you from? Calabar? No. Obudu. Obudu. Cross River. Obudu. Cross River. I have to pray for you. Please, if I, if I didn't call, why are you here? Are you, do you know why you are here? Huh? You see your grandmother. Kai. There's somebody here. Hold on. All of you see your grandmothers. Don't laugh. You see, let me tell you, this is not some, it's not mockery. It's not, I'm not saying every vision of grandmother is demonic. Please don't get me wrong. These are very special, strange, wicked, and demonic issues. Special, strange, wicked, and demonic issues. Someone has fallen down there. Please let the doctors attend to the person. Make sure you are your brother's keeper so that they don't fall down and injure themselves. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hi, you come what business do you have to do with dead people dead people eh? hold my hands say in Jesus name say it seriously in Jesus name every affiliation with the dead I curse it now I release an anointing upon you now everything you have to do with dead people in Jesus name do you love Jesus you love Jesus Huh? Mm -mm. You are not serious with Jesus. Hold my hands. How are you? Don't be embarrassed, but um, the first thing you need is your relationship. I'm looking at you. I can't, I don't want to embarrass you, but you need Jesus seriously. I love you, eh? That's why I'm helping you. I love you with all my heart. Go and meet the who? Um, where's Pastor Alpha? Just meet him. He will talk with you. You need counseling. It's, your own is not just grandmother. God just brought you out here to, in, your destiny is needed. Please go and see or we'll talk to you now all of you who are having these issues I'm going to lay my hands on you now when I lay my hands on you I want you to believe there is this strange Kai I'm seeing somebody someone appears to you in the night and when he appears to you please don't come out at random as soon as he appears to you your spirit literally starts leaving your body literally as in you feel yourself you will come out and you will see you again lying down on the bed there's somebody with that case that situation right now i have to pray for that person right now 
I have to pray for that person right now. Something comes, pulls your spirit out like he's going. I will lay my hands on you. All of you are so many. Father, every affiliation with darkness. I'm going to lay my hands on all of you very fast. Sir, I'm, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the spirit of poverty and lack. Serious poverty. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Nothing works. Yes, Your sir. life is like a basket. Anything that enters goes out. I'm not embarrassing you. Eh? You are saying it. Money works. leaves your hand. Even if they give you one million, it must find a way of going. Yes, yes sir. Yes, man, but money does not stay. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. Do you tight? Yes, sir. You are not consistent. One, two. Um, you see, this consistency of tightening is one way to drive the devourer. God is not a magician. You have to be consistent. Praise God. God blesses you ten times. You tight once. Your heavens are completely closed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now and I command breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Let me lay my hands quickly now. You're the God of miracles. Amazing God. You're the God of miracles. Go now Amazing and cost that spirit. God, you the God, oh, the God of wonder. Amazing, Amazing God, you're the God of the Lord wants to bring favor to your life. prophesy over your life now we're going to be very fast five minutes and we're out of this place please I want you to believe every prayer that is coming now every prayer come every prayer the Lord is taking you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ a new dimension a new level cameraman God is wiping your tears Keep the camera first, wiping your tears in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears. This lady, I'm praying God is visiting her family. That lady standing close to Ella. I'm seeing 
a vision that the Lord is going to show how breakthrough I'm commanding right now in the name of Jesus everything tying down your families particularly the Lord is asking me to release family now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus now I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy those outside please follow me those online follow me our time is gone but let's just be patient two three minutes we're out of here I decree and declare from tonight move forward in the name of Jesus move forward in the name of Jesus move forward in the name of Jesus make progress 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 in the name of Jesus advance in the name of Jesus advance in the name of Jesus be fruitful in the name of Jesus be fruitful in the name of Jesus multiply in the name of Jesus anyone here who has lost anything in your life I declare I'm seeing 28 in 28 days Shato Soto Koto Pakata 28 days from now I command that it comes back to your hands I command that it comes back to your hand I command that it comes back to your hand anyone here who has been victimized by life by circumstances by men I decree and declare may the God I serve vindicate you right now everyone here in need of direction you are praying oh God I need to know what step do I take in the name of Jesus tonight strange encounters that bring you direction strange encounters that bring you direction the yoke of poverty and hardship and lack I command it to live your life now I command it to live your life now live your family now live your destiny now I pray for every family represented here whatever you are trusting God for as a family I release my faith with you and I decree and declare that it is turned into your testimony now the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now I decree and declare from tonight not tomorrow from tonight let it start working in your life strange favor in your life strange favor in your life God has placed his honor upon this ministry I pray for you from today anywhere you go whether they know you or not I command them to honor you believe it I command honor upon your life in the name of Jesus two more prayer points and we are done the gospel whatever has made your pace of your life him, slow some of you are moving forward but you are too slow for your destiny at the rate you are going you will not do much in your lifetime i prophesy to you in the name of jesus receive the grace for speed receive the grace for speed do in one month what you have not done in five years in the name of jesus christ a comment in the comment section and finally i pray for you Keep sharing Whatever the has taken and let's all keep sharing with Jesus. Life. See you your again. Your prayer life. Bye. Your fasting life. Word life. Passion for God. Passion for the house of God. Right now, I stretch my hands and I declare. Fresh fire on your altar. Prayer fire on your altar. Word fire on your altar. Fasting fire on your altar. I decree and declare upon everyone receive a manifestation of the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus let me add one last prayer point judgment upon the wicked let it begin tonight some of you don't like the prayer I say it again judgment upon the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ that every man woman boy and girl that partners with darkness to frustrate your destiny may the God of vengeance arise in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus father we give you all the praise we give you all the glory Thank you. hello 
scriptures exalt us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.